is the Glass Cannon Network. Voyagers of the Jump. In case this is your uh, first time, this game, this show is an actual play of the truly wonderful Traveler RPG published by Mongoose, but it that begs the following question. Do you all consider yourselves good travelers? Like in real life. <laughs> like in real life as travelers, do you consider yourself a good oh. traveler? <laughs> what, yeah. What is the, like, what is, what <laughs> makes a good traveler? That's such an open-ended question. That's what makes it such a delightful band. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> you mean like like people who visit people's homes and like destroy them while they're there? Or <laughs> oh, interesting that you jumped to that. Not a good guest, <laughs> a good traveler. Yeah, I know. I, I meant like you know, if you're if you're someone who goes flies around or takes trains a lot or like you're traveling a lot for work or for for life or for vacations, do you consider yourself? A, Good. Like I feel like they're. I feel like my my wife would consider herself a very poor traveler, and that, I'm not saying that. That's what she would say. But I, I. It's interesting. Like, are you know, Sydney? You travel a lot for work, or at least yeah. like the glass cannon has forced you to. And plus, all of your other your film work. Would you? Are you a good traveler? Yeah, I think I think I would consider myself a good traveler in that like I like traveling. I think people who do not want to get on a plane or do not enjoy being in like a foreign country, if those things make you uncomfortable, I think by that you are not a good traveler because you're not going to have a good time. <laughs> I am like, come what may. You lost my luggage? Come what may. Oh, I'm in a country where I can't speak the language? Come what may. I'm just sure I'll get pissed off. Like sure things go wrong when you travel, but I think I'm a very like adaptable traveler. So I think I'm a good traveler. Don't have my passport in time to leave, go to Sweden. Matthew! <laughs> yeah, like, a recent to, history would suggest that maybe you're not fly. as good a traveler as you claim, Sydney. I, but did I get to Sweden? <laughs> you yes. did. So in the for worst the, possible Sydney, you, way through Houston. <laughs> for those who don't listen to Legacy of the Ancients, Sydney, would you give us like a capsule version of that particular travel experience? <laughs> ah, um, I'm learning and growing as a traveler, and I would just like to preface with that. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> was very excited to go to Sweden. It was my first time uh, in Europe. I had never been. I was really pumped. And I stupidly had misremembered the expiration date on my passport. I thought it was January of the current year. When I took my passport out the week before I was leaving, just to check, it was January of that year, which had already passed and expired. Oof. And this was post COVID where you can't just walk into a passport office anymore. You have to call them on the phone, wait to get a real person only for them to tell you, hi, there is nothing available in the United States except for one appointment in Honolulu in two weeks. <laughs> and then you cry and you call back and then they go, hi, there is one appointment in Houston, Texas, the day that your flight to Sweden is supposed to leave. And I said, I'll take it. So <laughs> I flew to Houston, Texas. Lost the money on my original flight, just gone. Couldn't cancel it, couldn't redo it, gone. I was like, give, it, give up on that. Flew to Houston, Texas for one night, woke up at 8 a.m., went to the passport office in Houston, Texas, cried, begged, gave them my passport. I said, I booked a flight to Sweden from Houston. It leaves in three hours. Please, can you expedite my passport? They did. I went straight to the airport, got on a flight that went to Chicago, that went to Iceland, that then went to Sweden. And I arrived in Sweden two days late from my original trip, but I made it because I'm an adaptable, good <laughs> traveler. Oh my God, the stress. The stress, the cro the tears, the tears of stupidity. Never as an adult do you feel so stupid as like an expired passport and then you have to fly internationally. Like it ruins your, you just feel so dumb. You booked a nice trip for yourself. And so I think I've learned and grown as a traveler. Like you said, you're highly adaptable as a traveler. And I would, I don't give up. I persevere. Yeah. Oh my god! I think that's a lesson. Have, I'm gonna start you, checking. My have you ever done that? Have you guys ever done that? Expired passport and like got to the airport or like forgot your passport? 
No, because no, I'm you. a good traveler. No. <laughs> no. Do that. Um, when, I'm sweating. When we were, I'm sweating. When we were in Israel, I forgot to get bring extra passport photos for our visa into Jordan because I wanted to go see Petra. So oh. we had to go to the Jordan Embassy. Cool. And, and the guy's like, yeah, sorry, but you have to go. You have to go get uh, passport photos, and it's like eight a.m. in Tel Aviv, and our our guide that um, it, it, weird story. So I, of the people I was with, but he's like, I know a guy. So we sped walk through Tel Aviv into the closest I could describe it as the shadiest beauty parlor on earth. It was <laughs> it was about twelve feet wide, maybe, and on one side are like the little booths. But they're not like barber chairs. They're like office rolly chairs and like the three <laughs> booths. And then we, we got to the back and there is a, a little counter there that is like covered in papers. And, you know, they're uh, they're, they're talking. I have no idea what they're saying. They guy's like, OK, come with me. And we go into his office, which is about the size of a large closet. And his desk <laughs> is like under stacks of paper. And he pulls down like a little screen that's got like the blue backdrop and he moves some stuff off of a plastic chair <laughs> and he's like, sit here and he takes our photo. And the whole time I'm thinking of every born identity movie ever. And I'm like, is, <laughs> is this legal? Like, wh- yeah. where am I? And he, like, he took uh, our pictures. When do you take my organs? When does and, that happen? And, and he gave them to us and we sped walk back to the, the embassy and they, they, of course, checked us out at the, uh, the the guy there is like, OK, OK, I'm fine. And it tells me if like you're approved. He looks at me he's like you have a, you're not approved to go into Jordan. And I, w- I, I, I wanted to I've been wanting to go to Petra my whole life. And I, I just had this like, oh, God. And I'm thinking like I'm an author. Did I ever say anything? You know, like, what is it? And my wife's like. Are you messing with us? City Grand? He's like, oh yeah, I am. Here he is, and you're approved. But I, <laughs> I was like, wow. so heartbroken. Wow, the um, famous Jordanian sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> actually, the, the, every Jordanian I met loved to joke and smile, and it was very, very cool experience. But yeah, yeah. yeah how the, is Petra? It's gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, the, this we got there and we weren't going to go the first day, but they have Jordan by night because we got there late in the evening. So our first time in was uh, under the moonlight, and they open it up and oh, they've got cool. these candles Whoa. going down the uh, uh, big ravine that's like a mile to get to where the uh, Treasury Building is, which is the the famous building from Indiana Jones. Oh, so the, we the, went down the that valley that they ride the horses through at the end of Last Crusade. Its name I am not remembering at this moment, but yeah, that the huge <laughs> valley. And uh, it had all these candles in front of it. And that's that was the first time we got to see it. And then the next morning, before it gets to be blistering, horribly hot, we came in and saw it all during the daylight and spent the whole day walking around. Because there's a lot more stuff there. It's just the treasury is the most preserved because it's in the valley. So it didn't get the yeah, weathering. Yeah, it, it was a Nabataean city. There's like a bunch of like cave dwellings and everything Whoa. Uh, all through there. Yeah, it's 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 gorgeous, but the, uh, the the secret is when you get there, go straight to the right to the very back end because all the tourists will stop and slowly go through, and if you go to the back and work your way back to the front, you get to avoid the surge of people. And uh-huh. you persevered, Seth. You said, "I'll figure it out. I'll go get these passport photos. I'll come back. I'll beg this jovial man." I'll figure it out. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so, so many weird adventures on that trip. <laughs> Wait, are you a are you a good traveler though? Does that make you a good traveler or a bad traveler? My wife has made me a good traveler. She she mm. her, she grew up with her dad being a pilot in uh, oh, the, the oh. pre nine eleven days. So oh. like their vacations would be they just go to the airport like Christmas Eve and find a flight somewhere in the world that had enough seats and they just go because you can do that back then. Yeah. And yeah. so it's like pretty much like. You know, you could survive for a week out of one carry-on bag, and yeah, that's that's how my wife learned to travel. And yeah. so in first she is, class, light up a cigarette. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. the joys of travel. You so she has forced Anywhere me to adapt. Yeah. <laughs> my grandfather worked for airlines, and my when my mom was growing up, that's how that's how they they flew. My grandmother was very savvy about like looking at what the vouchers could get them, and they would just show up at the airport, and she would be like, "All right, we're going to." This random island, everybody, or and they were like they had four daughters, so they they wanted to travel. They had to travel cheap. Um, yeah, yeah. It was, it was exactly like that, and it's 
like, wow, I'm so envious. My, my parents drove everywhere. So, yeah, just road <laughs> trips is what I learned to do. Um, what about you, Elisa? Do you, are you a good traveler? You travel a lot. I you travel like. a lot. Yeah, I do, but that doesn't mean like I generally, I don't, I, don't, I don't like to travel. Like, okay, I'm trying to get better at traveling, but I do know that in general, I'm, I'm a very heavy traveler. Like oh. I'm the person I'm going to see. Oh. I'm going to San Francisco for like a week and I have three suitcases. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> because for me, I get, I, I guess I have like traveler like lists. Like, where's one? Let me see if I can find one. I'm getting ready. Oh, I can't, I can't find it. But I have like, I make lists of like things I need to bring like for the hotel. I'm like, oh yeah, it's ready to bring my own soap. Cause what if I'm allergic to the soap that's in the bathtub? <laughs> I have to bring like, a, <laughs> I'm a, a heavy traveler. So that's what, I don't really know if it makes me a good traveler. It just makes me a high maintenance traveler. Uh, I'm trying to get better, <laughs> especially like going overseas and stuff like that. But I do know that like it, it's, I actually impressed this by a lot of people. It's important to know like where you're going, like the customs of where you're going. And um, yeah, I uh, yeah. I had to appear in Jakarta one year for a comic book convention in Jakarta. Wow. And, you know, as an American, when you go to countries, especially for appearance and stuff, they give you like a handler to make sure that you're adhering to customs. But like mm -hmm. you, you, you hear what it's about, but actually experiencing it is totally like, it's totally different. Like I wasn't, I think I, I wasn't prepared for like where women are like over there, like where we sit like socially. So I'd be yeah. up and like, you can't just like walk up to a, any random dude and start talking like, oh, so what about They're like, whoa. And you have yeah. to, like I had, I had to cover up. You had to cover up a lot of different things. So it was just, um, that wasn't a bad thing. It was just something culturally I had to, like it was like a smack in the face. As an American, we just go, oh, yeah, we're doing, we just fly over here, we're having fun. No, 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 no. You have to, <laughs> yeah. So it's like a lot of, just a lot of things. I, yeah, I'm getting better at it, I suppose. <laughs> All right. And Skid, you travel, you fly probably more than anybody on this Zoom, or I would bet, right? Yeah, I fly a lot. I think I've gotten it down to a science for myself. Like I, I have, I, I know what will make it because I, I don't like flying ordinarily. So I've just gotten it to the, it's as, as the least bad experience that I can. I go, I check a bag, like, cause we've got our medallion status for Delta now from like glass cannon. So it's free. <laughs> I check a bag. I don't mind picking it up. I just don't like worrying about it. So I can walk around freely in the airport. We've got, we can hang out in the lounge. You do that. I've got the TSA pre checks. I can just breeze through security. So now it's like not that bad. Traveling is not that bad. I've I know what makes it not too bad for me, and uh, that has made a huge difference. So, but it's all practice because I I fly so 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 much. It's so funny to me, like the like because I I I'm I feel similar. Like I don't I I like to travel. I don't love to fly. I don't love to fly. I don't mind. I, I'm not, I'm not explaining this well. I don't, I'm not afraid of flying. I just don't like the experience of not being in control. Um, yeah. So it's like funny, like the little things that they let you like seize upon to like give yourself the sense of control. And of course, if those like one of them goes away, the whole thing breaks down. Um, yeah, I'm flying with me. I'm flying with with my wife and daughter this weekend. And I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go. Wait, we'll is see. this is this your international trip or no? We already did that one. Yeah, Mira was great and on that one, but it was, it was we didn't know how to pack for a baby. We just did, like so we were just like let's just bring everything, and we became um, exactly yeah, we became very <laughs> heavy everything. travelers. I think it's um, funny the packing thing with traveling is so funny because I think I'm an overpacker too, not in a crazy way, but I know it. I'm like you don't need five t-shirts, you're gonna just wear two. You're only gonna <laughs> wear two for those five days, but my partner Xavier is a complete underpacker. Like night before he's like, do you, well, do you know the temperature? I'm like, of where we're going, <laughs> what, what? And he's like one shirt, like he's like, how many nights is like three, I have three boxers. And I'm like, we're there for a week. What are you doing? You need more underwear. Oh. And he's just like so loosey goosey. And he's like, I'll like buy a pair of pants if I need them when I get there. And I'm like, that's insane. That is so insane. Like, yeah, that he's, stresses yeah. me out. Yeah, it stresses me out too. I'm like, he's like, don't watch me pack because you get stressed out. I'm like, yeah, good. I'm leaving. I'm not. <laughs> but I love that feeling of just having a just a little bit of stuff, just like one bag, a light bag. Yeah, that is that's what he, plan. Yeah. That's like, that's so what nice. he wants. Yep, he gets yeah. like a duffel bag, and he's like, I don't want to roll a suitcase around. I'm like, all right, fair. There was a the guy the uh, the lyricist and musical theater book writer Alan J. Lerner who wrote Camelot and Brigadoon and other stuff. Uh, he was I. I 
extremely wealthy would be, I think, a charitable way to describe him. And he uh, had all of his shirt sizes on file with uh, <laughs> with shirt makers in major cities around the world. So when he see, traveled, that's he, how you do it. He just didn't. Wow. Buy. What? Just get so, a new shirt yeah. wherever you go. Just get new shit. And just yeah. leave it there. Just leave it there. It's a different time. Storage. Yeah. <laughs> also, ex- wow. I'm seeing amount of wealth, but a different yeah. time. Yeah. For um, our honeymoon, we bought all new clothes for that because we had so many like gift cards. Oh, nice. We were like, oh, yeah. So we were like, we went to Florida, uh, Venice, and we're like, you know what? All new clothes. And that's what we did. <laughs> so like every day I put on a shirt that I've never worn before. And oh, it's that's like, amazing. It was it was wonderful. So cool. I, it is cool. I, I, I'm, I'm down with that plan of, you know, it's like, I'll just go. I'll get clothes there. Just, just wear the high Italian fashion. <laughs> yeah, just, I'll have a silk, a silk suit made today. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, speaking of traveling, you guys are traveling on a ship. <laughs> Incredible segue once Whoa. again. You only get better, Matthew. Guys, only he said it. Traveling. The name Speak. of the game. He said it. I said it. Oh my god. He said. Speaking of speaking. <laughs> speaking of speaking. It. Speaking of speaking. Here I am saying the name of the show that we're speaking on. Speaking of speaking is my turn to talk now. <laughs> well, all right. Let's talk about what happened last week. Last week, uh, Swan Tenor, a human scientist and Self help book author, self help book author, played by Alicia. Uh, Pug, an anthropomorphic armadillo soldier, played by Skid. Arthur, a Varger Scion scientist, played by Seth. And Willadine Faye Moxley, a Navy pilot, played by Sydney. Uh, we're coming to the end of their four year assignment on station XR 1453 L, aka the Bucket, out in the middle of the Great Rift. And they'd spent four years basically doing nothing. And now it was finally, finally time to go home. But their transport was late, Uh, very late, eight days late. And when it finally did arrive, it was not a sleek jump ship from the mega corporation that owned the station that they all worked for, but this ugly lumbering bulk freighter, a heavily modified modified freighter that had been subcontracted to pick them up. And they met the small crew of this very large ship, uh, the human captain Hiram Jax, the BWAP pilot, Dre Nethweb Trano dash. Oh, sorry. Let me take that back. They met the small crew of this very large ship: uh, the human captain Hiram Jax, the BWAP pilot Trey Nethweb Trano Kakawa of the Neo Beska. Uh, sorry, I wrote this myself. I'm going to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Neo Beska Bobop Clan, <laughs> the human astrogator Kaz Kazlasevich, and the Varger engineer Plurn. <laughs> And they were on a cargo run and took on the extra job of picking up the crew and dropping them back in Imperial space, ostensibly for the extra cash. Uh, And the station crew received instructions from Poltec, their employers, that they were to extract the computer's data cores, destroy the station, and report back to Company HQ for debriefing and reassignment. And they received their promotions, or not, uh, and a travel allowance, but one, the one other crew member the young janitor, Marley Krog, mysteriously received a very large cash disbursement and a massive promotion, but following both him and you. Uh, but with Plurn's help, you were able to rig the reactor to overload, and you packed up your lives and all of your secret pets and boarded the warbler. <laughs> <laughs> and from the bridge, you detonated the station. Secret your pets or hostages, as the case Or hostages, <laughs> possible hostages. <laughs> Hey, she changed it. Leave her alone. (laughs) Oh, Elise, I did have a creature for you. Uh, You did? uh, Yeah, a possible creature. Hold on, let me pull it up. uh, It better be cute. It's very cute. Uh, You can look it up. It's uh, called... They're very common throughout Charted Space. Uh, It's called a Walston. Ah. Walston. Walston. Actually, I'm going to try to... Coax my players into picking up a wall stood next session for us. Wait. So yes, they're adorable. How's it how is it spelled? W A L S T O N. O N, okay. Oh, just like that. It's like someone's last name. They're Are they very from like the Walston? idea that it was just like a chirper and we're like, wait, that's a sentient species, and she like just puts like some groucho glasses on it and like a little headband <laughs> no, no. some potatoes. Like, I didn't say chirper, it's a Chipotle. <laughs> this is this is a new thing called a Walston. Yeah, a Walston's like kind that of like, I invented. It's kind of like a space oh. guinea pig, basically. They're very cute, and they're very cool. Oh, oh cool. Um, they occur. Do they reproduce uncontrollably? I think chance? so. 
Uh, they, I think they're yeah, they're basically like space triple or like uh, they're basically like traveler triples. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yes, all of your secret pets. You detonated the station that was your prison slash your workplace slash your home, the place you've haunted for four years, and then you strapped yourself in and began the journey back home into the first jump. So yeah, the the freighter jumps, and you've got a week. You've got two weeks before you reach anything resembling civilization. But this is only a jump three capable ship, uh, and the bucket was six full parsecs from the nearest populated world. So you have. This is gonna be two jumps, two successive jumps, and you've got some time before you uh, you get anywhere. So, what do you think you're all up to on the ship? What time of day is it right now? Um, yeah. space we're time. We're After sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a, you have a stateroom. You each have your own stateroom. Actually, the ship is large enough that even with modifications in the extra space they've cannibalized for cargo and extra fuel, you you have your own stateroom. Uh, now, it's pretty. It's not. It's pre, not particularly uh, comfy. Just kind of a cot and a chair, and maybe a little side table. There has Terminal. to be a ton of just room. Yeah, With there's only. A like it's a, a massive ship. They have basically because they're such a small crew. They've cannibalized the bulk of what would be living space for oh. cargo, more cargo, more fuel, um, and they. I, I, I think I mentioned this last week, they basically jury-rigged the whole ship so they can be run remotely and they don't need as many personnel. Though, of course, Plurn, the engineer, is extremely uh, overworked, just running around patching things and keeping things running all day long and night, probably. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I retcon that um, uh, Willa Dean has a pet, too? Yes. Uh, well, sure. Let's make it... <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we use this opportunity to talk about the mechanic that we... Uh, we mentioned early on in, in episode one, but we haven't really gotten into luck. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Why? Uh, so Why? yeah, we use the <laughs> we use an additional characteristic, an alternate characteristic from the Traveler's Companion, luck. Um, so why don't we talk about how you can use luck? So there's three ways. So you can do if you're uh, the first is random situation. So if you're in a situation where something bad was going to happen to one of you. I could ask you all to make an opposed luck roll, and whoever rolls the lowest, you you bad Suffers. thing happens to you. Um, there's also you can use it to alter your chances of success, so you can spend a point of luck to give yourself a DM plus one on a particular roll. Uh, your luck will replenish at the end of the adventure. So for our purpose, I'd say at the end of the season, your luck would replenish. Uh, and right, then you can also you sorry, go ahead. <laughs> God, I'm just saying, like, so this is all we get. Like, this yeah. is luck number. This is it. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, but what do you mean replenish? Like, for instance, my luck, I have a zero modifier. Would I take it from my number? I'm confused. From your yeah. score. Oh, yes. okay. What's okay. your score? Yes. Uh, it's an eight. So, yeah, you could spend one point and go down to seven. Yeah. Or in the, you could spend three points and go down to five. But then if I ever asked you to make a luck roll, you'd take a minus one modifier to it. Uh... Oh. Um, so yeah, and then okay. so yeah, you can just spend as many as you want to give yourself a, 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 a DM plus one per point of luck. And then there's also the category I love in the book called Surviving a Disaster. Um, <laughs> so it's something like terrible were to happen. Like if you like you rolled like a natural two on like you're climbing a mountain or, you know, parachuting down onto, onto, onto the ground and like you just totally just fumble. Uh, you could expend uh, <laughs> luck points to just do a blind luck roll. Uh, so you just roll with no characteristic modifier and use as many luck points as you spend for DM. And these points are gone for good. Like they can never replenish. But you could, but as a way to like kind of cinematically save yourself from certain death. Wow. Oh boy. That's cool. But in this um, case, what I would like you to do is just make an average luck roll using your luck, your luck score, your, your luck DM. So uh, I have a zero. So yeah, just okay. roll. It's gonna be you. Have, roll if you get eight or higher. Yes, you can have a pet. I'm just rolling one and one D, right? Two D. Two D. Oh, two D. Okay. I, I like the idea that the survival should just be outlandish. Like, you know, like you, Luke falls down the, the bottomless pit, but oh, hits a super happy fun slide, and you know, catches <laughs> yeah. himself. <that>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like uh, the end of Hudson Hawk. Mm -hmm. What is this? The car goes flaming over the cliff, and it's just like. <laughs> 
But I saw the car like crash over the side of the cliff on fire. He's like, airbags, can you believe it? I was like, well, what about the fires? I was like, there was a sprinkler system. And Bruce Willis turns to the camera and he's like, yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> Underrated movie, Hudson Hawk. Very funny. How did you use Sydney? I, I rolled a seven. Seven is a, uh, so if we were to use the, it's a failure, but it's a marginal failure. Uh, if we were to use, look at the effect of that. So it could be a success with a consequence. So I'll offer you the choice. You could have no pet, or you could have a pet that is extremely misbehaved, extremely poorly behaved and like oh, no. wants to like rip up all your stuff and chew through all your stuff. And <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> I, you know what? I pick, yes, I take the pet that is poorly behaved because I think it's very, <laughs> I think it's very funny that I am now a captain and my crew is loyal to me, but I have this fucking cat. An unruly pet. This it's a, a ship. Cat. Ca it's a ship's a cat. cat. <laughs> it's like it was a cat that came with the station. Like it just is the ship's cat. And <laughs> Stray. It's just yeah. been living on the station. It's for cat. It's found and like it's found nobody, its way to the station. <laughs> nobody took it with them because the cat was so poorly behaved. But now we were blowing up this station, the bucket, and I was like, I can't leave this little guy. I, it's okay. I'll take him. So she named him Scrap uh, because he's so scrappy and he like eats all our scraps of food. Like he's just a monster. Uh, this is based off of my cats in real life. And uh, I was, was going to ask. Yes. Uh, write what you know. But uh, I take the cat and it's now on this ship and no one is happy about it. No one's safe. <laughs> Especially the cat you, like if you would like to change the story to where it's actually all the cat's fault, this super intelligent monster, I would I'd be totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the cat is the cat can be very loving. Like the cat will come on your lap, you know, it rubs against everybody's legs, but it's just certain things. Like if you leave your door open, the cat's gonna go in your room and like rip up something on the floor. Like it's just you have to be really yeah. careful not to like leave it's like a a gremlin, like past midnight. If you yeah. feed this cat, it goes insane. Yeah. So. Don't get it wet. Don't get I'm it wet. I'm very excited for the chance to role play this cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, the captain, maybe the captain sees it come aboard. He's like, oh, I was contracted for, for five humans or five, five, five sentient forms. What are these pets? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you were if you were trapped on a ship for four years, you'd probably want a companion too. So what Willardine's doing on the ship right now is looking for scrap because he yet again got away. So you just hear like through all different corridors, like clunk 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 scrap, clunk 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 scrap. So that's what she's doing. He's in the air ducts. Yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna get in the air ducts. Yeah, I got the motion sensors on, trying to find him. He'll chew through the wires. He'll do it. Kaz, the astrogator, is like, she was a she's a captain in the Imperial Navy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so so Willadine spends a week looking for looking for scrap. Uh, what do the rest of you get up to? Um, what's the name of the ship? Well, the, the the thing we're on right now. What's the name? Does it have one? The Warbler. Warbler. Oh. Warbler. Warbler. Aha. Arthur is uh, get after his like initial kind of like ah no responsibilities like which is probably like his first day is probably <laughs> then going to uh, as as his little thing that he does to like kind of relax is probably going to fix the rattling vent in his room uh, probably fix his leaky faucet probably fix the you know, seal on the shower thing so it stops leaking on the floor. Yep, you know, that sort of thing. And then uh, he's probably going to see about finding Plern. See if she needs help fixing stuff. Since that is his, that's his happy place. It's just fixing things. But he has not done that in front of the crew because he knows that that would get him the job of fixing things. Wow. How would that manifest in a romantic relationship? Your, your hobby and your job should never mix. <laughs> you did have a, you did have a, yeah, you had a date planned with with uh, Plern to eat some kranga, right? Am I? Is... Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, yeah, you, you, maybe you guys meet like kind of in a, like a random corridor. 
near the. Uh, I remember it was supposed to be the star the starboard cargo bay. You meet a random cargo mm. from the starboard cargo bay, um, and you get there, and Plern is like, like waiting, like she's like she's kind of like leaning up against, trying to look casual, and then she like just pulls out a pack of a kranga. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, make a uh, make a recon check. Oh wow! Well, what stat are we basing it on? Uh, that's a good Social? question for what I. You could do intellect? intelligence, intellect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I have a plus three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So you smell something when you 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 smell something when you come around the corner, and you realize. That's the smell of manure, and and uh, Plurn is like, this is the this is the only place I can eat my my kranga in peace because the smell of the cargo masks the smell of the, the kranga, and like no one complains. So you she offers you a piece of kranga, but you also just have a, a, like a solid whiff of of just you know poop. Ah, oh. man, kranga's kranga. Yeah, he's also a dog, so <laughs> they don't shy away from it. As far as I'm, saying. So, I'm already hungry enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please, <laughs> you got the keys. You to get get this. Come me. on. Uh, so yeah, you, you, the two of you share some kranga, and uh, Plurn is like, she's like looking you up and down. And she says, "You, uh, you grew up among the humans, didn't you?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I uh, uh, that tried to leave that as fast as I could, and ended up here. Ended up here among more humans. I didn't say I did a good job. Fucked <laughs> 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 up. Kind of like, <laughs> she kind of like gives you another look up and down. Like, mm, you seem like you were. Uh, seem like you have more in you than that. Well, I, uh, I enjoyed science. I enjoyed engineering. I, uh, I just uh, didn't know what my coworkers were before I came. She goes back. She's a, she's a varger of few words, Plurn. Very, but she's, uh, you get the feeling that maybe this is the most she's opened up to anybody in a long time with just those few curt questions. I can ask her how she ended up here. I, uh... I, fl- I uh, got hurt. I was in the, the Varger defense fleet and uh, working as an engineer, and I got hurt. I had I got mustered out. <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> uh, and I was trying to find work, and I uh, finally met I met the captain, and uh, he offered me a job. I needed the, needed the work. He's been good to me. He's been good as far as, as far as the humans go. Trust him. But I don't trust. I don't. That astrogator. I don't care for him. No. You do, you do well to keep away from him. Good to know. Very good to know. Anything in particular that's shady about him? Does he cheat at cards or. Is he. Yeah. He's a racist asshole. Oh. Very good to know. Very. Thank you. Thinks he knows everything. Like, listen, I can do math too, pal. My crew is good. Just don't. If 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 the, if the armadillo has to spar with you, don't. <laughs> Just don't. Right. He's like a rock. <laughs> he seems pretty tough. Exactly. <laughs> His pulling punches is don't. Just don't. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not much of a fighter. I'm not much. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have that in common. <laughs> she offers you more. She offers you more kranga. <laughs> oh God. I just. It's been. It's been so so long. I, I. I didn't think I'd miss it this much. I have a guy. Whenever we land and uh, whenever we make, we make port in Deneb. I have a guy who's kranga supply. I'm real. I can get you, I can give you his name when we get there. If you stick around that long. Man, I would love that. But uh, Deneb's a pretty pretty good way from here. It's a it's a normal run for you yeah. guys. We go wow. we cross the rift back and forth. 
That how, takes us a minute to get been, there. How long you been shipping out with the uh, with the warbler? Uh, had it had four years now. Ah, it's always four. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's always four. Open them out. The story is always told in four year increments. Yeah, <laughs> rule of the universe. <laughs> Uh, actually, let me confirm that because I actually did do. I rolled for these guys because uh, 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 she, uh, the captain, was an ally. She gained. Uh, 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 yes, four years. Um. Well, I better get back to work. You. Uh, uh, you, yeah, so you, uh, you need any help? Maybe. Why don't you come, uh, let me see how, what you're made of. And she brings you down to, uh, she's got a panel, to, uh, a panel to patch. And she's like, uh, this one, uh, failed on the last jump. So I've been uh, taking a minute to work on it. Got to patch one engineering system to another engineering system. Uh, this would be a mechanics role. She, <laughs> she says. She I just said that. that in, in, a just, just in, in a gruff voice. In a gruff voice. Yes. Um. Well, well, so uh, among the equipment that I bought with my tiny amount of money that I got, but I, but I uh, mustered out uh, with some mechanics tools. Okay. So, uh, like what, like, like what's the quality of her tools versus what I've got stashed in my bags? Uh, I would say hers are solid but well loved. Okay. Okay. It's a god to Walt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me let me attempt this. Mechanic, are we doing education? I see you have a Roby drill. Well, I do have a black and decker, so I'll I've got, She's like, I've got a Milwaukee. Is that corded? Oh, it's battery. Um I should use my corded. Yeah, you so. know what, I'm okay. I'm okay. You can use you can use education or angel like whichever you you so choose. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or uh, social if you're you could you can make a case to use social trying to impress if you're really her. trying to impress her. <laughs> oh. This is so cute. Okay, so I I, I, I I would go social, but I've I've already rolled, so uh, which means I could counteract the minus. Uh, so if I'm doing intellect, I'm at an eleven. Okay, yeah. So we, actually, you do. It was it was a difficult check, and you're able to. You're like pull out your tools. And you're like, okay, yeah, oh yeah, I know what you're doing here. And then you just you you're able to you're able to patch the system, and you uh, just like very efficiently. And then you just like you like drill the panel back into place, and you're like. And, she's, and she looks at you, and she says, I could make use of you. And we'll fade out. We'll, 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 well, wait in a good, minute. In good taste, One, we'll fade out from there. One second, though. <laughs> if I were trying to impress a young lady, say, and I were a telepath, I would want to see how well my efforts went over. Mm. If it was oh. me. I'm just saying. Right? He's also a really bad telepath. You're hurting his feelings by making him do this. Wait, wait, what does bad mean? You only partially read or you read the wrong thing entirely? Depends, My size score is six, so... so I, uh, terrible... <laughs> what? So bad. So yeah, why, why been, we... I, I've been a scion for a long time, but I was working at the university. You know what they say about those who can't do? So I, uh, I'm just... Well, actually, this brings up an interesting. Your first time in the private sector, trying to be a telepath <laughs> yeah. in the private sector. <laughs> this this does bring up two. Well, let's talk about when you use your psionic powers. You have a psionic pool equal to essentially equal to your psion score, right? Yeah. So every time I use points, my psion score goes down, which means those, I start getting minuses really quickly because my oh. psi score is not high enough to give me pluses. Uh, so uh, since I've got a six, that means if I use one point, it drops me to a five. So if I try something again, I now have a minus one. How do you uh, get those so points back? Yeah. yeah they come Never. back at like one an hour, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Like one an hour, one every two hours. Like, so oh. I know if I sleep overnight, they're all back because enough time's mm-hmm. passed. Okay. But uh, so pretty much I've got enough psi to do one thing without a minus. And then after that, I'm going to have a minus guarantee. So I'm like sparing with it like so when i tried to like read the crew at the beginning i could read the captain and then after that it was like the next one's a minus because i just used two points uh so so i'm a scion i'm just not a good one okay uh, at the the only oh no <laughs> my only ability that has like a level one rank 
is telepathy. And I've got clairvoyance and awareness, but at zero. So I don't have a minus for him. I just don't get a plus. I don't get a plus for my size score. So I'm a really bad side. <laughs> I just love the idea of this, like, bad psychic. <laughs> we, were talking about, we were talking about it at the studio the other day. <laughs> Your line about Counselor Troy was great. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it basically is sort of Counselor Troy. It's just like she she has this like em- empathic abilities, but like normally anything she tells you is completely useless. <laughs> um, I I get the feeling they're hostile. Well, they're shooting yeah, at like, us, Troy. Yeah, that's common sense. Us? Thank you. I'm glad you're here. I got that yeah. too. Uh, I, well, here's a question: Do the rest of the does the rest of the station crew know you're a scion, or are you keeping that secret? That was the question I wanted to ask. Mm-hmm. I forgot yeah. that I wanted to cover that. Um, probably not, mostly because since he is outside the Imperium, which is, which is cool, uh, because it's not, it's not illegal. It's not a killing offense here, but he still has to send messages periodically to his handler because he's a, an Imperial registered scion. And if it gets out that he's telling people he's a, a scion, that could that could put a target on him. So he's he's probably now he's also not a good scion, which also means I, I, I think it would be fair that people might have been able to figure out that he's a scion because he's probably pretty clumsy with it. The most the person that he uses it the most with is his salamander, uh, which he <laughs> does talk to. It doesn't say much, but he does talk to a salamander. <laughs> Well, let's leave it up to the dice to see who who has figured it out and who hasn't. So I, I wonder oh, if the captain would it. know. Like, would you tell the captain? But maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's the last person. You'd yeah, tell. yeah. So we could do a Also, if you've got high enough clearance, you might have been informed if you're working for the period. That's of, true like, too. That's true. Mm-hmm. They're, that's true they're, too. But like. So it's, it's like a classified thing, all the registered scions, because the Imperium doesn't advertise we have scions. Everybody else is like, yeah, so. Yeah. So everyone, I would actually, I'll leave it up to you guys. What would you like to roll to see if you figured out that, that Arthur is a scion? You could just make a straight. Social? You, no. You could no. make a straight yeah. social roll yeah. if you were like, all right, I was hanging out with, Bar, uh, with Arthur and see. Yeah, if you were able to like wheedle it out of him. In a social circumstance, maybe. but you could also roll intellect or education. Like, okay. Willadine, maybe you were trained. Maybe you had a class at the a class at some point about you know okay. noticing like like psionic defenses or something for non scions Can can I roll? <laughs> can I roll social? Because my intellect and education are both zero. Go ahead and roll social. <laughs> yeah, and I'll I'll say this is going to be very difficult, right? Because because you're. you're you're taking pains to hide it. Yeah, you're trying to hide and it. And her social would make sense because she's the ranking officer, so she might have yeah. been enough like, hey, just let you know, he is a scion. He's yeah. just bad. I rolled, <laughs> yeah. I rolled, okay, I rolled a 10. Okay, that is, I'm gonna, for very, I'm gonna make this very difficult, so you're looking for a 12 or higher. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. not gonna get that. You wanna get some luck? <laughs> no, my luck. Permanently, permanently <laughs> Use ex- luck. Expand my luck for the rest of the game. Two points so. gone for this limited season. resource. I don't want to force him to tell me. You know, like if I noticed, I noticed, and the dice told me I didn't. And if he ever makes the choice, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm just saying everybody knows <laughs> that I can't read, and it just seems like it would be one of those moments where I'd be like, I can't read, and you'd be like, I can read your mind, but. Okay, if that didn't happen, that's fine, Seth. That's cool. Marley, Marley rolled, and he rolled a he rolled an education, uh, but he and he I almost got it. I got an eleven. Oh, uh, Marley is Mar- uh, even the janitor. The janitor doesn't know. Marley and Willa Dean are just like this. <laughs> All right, and hug and also since swan. since I mentioned that I fix things, I also suspect that if he's not a spy. He got the promotion because I've been quietly fixing things on the sly for like four years. Oh, I was like, yeah. I better got a promotion because everything works on the ship. That was me. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> That's my promotion. That's <laughs> <laughs> me, my money. Um, I should be a level five doctor. <laughs> Pug, what are you going to roll? Uh, I'm going to roll education. Okay. No. Right. <laughs> Just no. Swan. Oh, nothing. No. He's a nice have guy. You, 
Have you noticed that the uh, that uh, that he's a, that this uh, this gentleman Varger is a scion? Alicia. Oh me no. Uh, actually, I rolled a three, and I have a thirteen <laughs> in education, so I she does not know anything. I mean, she might think he's a little strange, but whatever. We all are. True. Yeah. Okay. He's really trying to hide it, so. Yeah, that's. Yeah. What, I would have made it just it difficult, but he's really like it's his life. He would try. He would do everything in his power to keep it secret. Like this is a life and death type thing too. Like this is. No. Um, Pug, what are you up to on the ship this week? Uh, Pug is like he brought all of his, port, his his like giant sort of portfolio that he has kind of like disguised, and he. Yeah, I don't think we know about the portfolio. Yet. I know about no. the portfolio. No. Are you an oh, artist? No. Wait. Yeah, so Pug is like, he's drawing a comic based on a heroic version of his own life. It's called Army Man. And he's just been working, <laughs> he's just been working on this comic the entire time he's been on the ship. And so he's just like, just really diligently sort of like drawing and inking it uh, as, as uh, he's putting some more finishing touches on it on the journey. All right, and Swan, what are you up to? Draw me like one of your French Varger. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Varger in it. There's a Varger in it. <laughs> the latest issue. <laughs> I, one. One um, I think that um, Swan, I really don't know what time or whatever it is, but at this moment, how long have we been on this, on, on the Warbler? How long at this point? We're, we're, we're trying to the first uh, day, determine right? what's going on for the first week okay. of the first jump. Okay, um, Swan is in her quarters, and she has laid some of her father's writings just, again, across her bed, and she's sort of looking at it, and she picks up, like, her hand recorder, <clears throat> and she's like, um, Dr. Tenor Xenolog 63.74, we just left the bucket, we blew it up entirely. We really don't know why we're aboard the Warbla. Even though I know that we're following orders, it still feels kind of strange to blow up something that was for the past four years, our entire life. As you know, when I first arrived on the bucket, things were pretty rough. I came there with this hope and idea that I would find something. In the first two weeks, I thought I did. I thought I stumbled upon a strange, new and mysterious species. I brought it back to the laboratory and tried to study it. Turns out it was just the neighbor's kid hanging out at the end of the driveway. Her <laughs> 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 under the bridge. Apologize to the parents. <laughs> Apologize to the parents. <laughs> So that wasn't your first kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I just... You're basically, it would be like being abducted by aliens. <laughs> and then the alien came back and was like, oh, sorry. My apologies. Yeah, I thought you were, yeah. I thought you were something else. Also, sorry, I thought you were more interesting, but you're actually very you boring. Interesting. <laughs> your kid is really boring and not interesting to me. Here. <laughs> Take so it. needy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, as you know, I was not going to let a little thing like potential imprisonment for false abduction stop me <laughs> from searching for the things that I know you wanted me, father, to find. So in her other neighbor's garden, I did some digging one night, and I found something for my role last game. <laughs> Um, and it's a small crystal and she reaches in her pocket and she sort of just looks at it I don't know what this is but maybe maybe I'll find out we'll see okay. signing off alright so Dr. Tenor considered, con continues her research yes um, okay anyone wow. who wishes to give me a carouse roll so this would be the Ooh. you get you're eating with the crew, right? You're eating with mm -hmm. the, the the crew of the Warbler. You're hanging out. You got no one else to talk to. You haven't talked to anyone in four years besides the five the five of you here. 
Um, so give me a carouse roll and, and let me know the result. That's a minus three, right? You don't have it? Oh. Yeah, if you don't have it, it's minus oh. three. If you don't, if you don't have minus, it and you don't have a jack of all minus. trades, it's okay. a minus three. Oh, do yeah. I have jack? I don't think I got jack of all trades this time. Wow, no. So different from my first character. Um, I'll try. Wow, really bad. What? <laughs> four? Okay. Ah, four. Six. Nine, but minus one, so eight. Okay. Uh, I rolled a five, but minus four, so one. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Even with the bonus, I, I, I just sat down you... at the dinner table. I just started licking my crotch. Just... <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Roll? <laughs> what did you roll, Skid? Uh, I rolled a. a uh, I rolled a six. Okay. So I didn't do that. So you all. Uh, you all cut you you hang, but you're a little bit uh, out of practice with being social. And you're just like a little too loud. We've gotta be little, weird. Yeah, we hang but we're weird. After weird. four years around like just ourselves and our weird pets, like eating this, like yeah. elbows on the table, you know, like eating like yeah, I, I stopped wearing pants like two years ago. The, <laughs> yeah. You wear pants here? Oh I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> oh wait. <my bad. laughs> uh, Swan, you however, they like you. You're you like you tell them story. Maybe like maybe maybe one of them has read your book. Maybe, okay, yeah, they probably we'll know. They might know who she is. They know you, so they they recognize yeah. you, and they're or one of them does. It's like oh, this is, oh maybe it's um well, maybe it's Trey. Trey the blop pilot is like oh, I read your book. It was great. I think about it all the time, and because of that, you know, you're like you're you have they, yeah, Trey's always like talking your talking your ear off at dinner. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So yeah, a week goes by. You're a little awkward. Uh, but uh, everything's okay. And uh, the Warbler exits jump space. And if you're looking at your viewport, you see more of nothing. You are still in the, you are still in the Lost Way sector. There is nothing around you for parsecs. Uh, no, not even any stars. No stars to refuel, to light up the way. It's just dark. Um, still in the middle of nowhere. And Kaz uh, has been bragging to you, by the way. Are you bragging? He's been talking to you at dinner, by the way. He's like, he's like, this is a very difficult jump to plot, you know, out here. It's like, this is not, not something anybody can do. I, but but I, I, don't worry, you're in, my, you're in safe hands with me. I've run the calculations a hundred times. I, I, maybe we'll even save time on the second jump. We'll make it up um, in the air. You know, uh, if, we, uh, if we if we wait three years, we'll get to watch our own station explode. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. It's a parsec a light year? Is that what it is? It's like three. Three. Like yeah, it's three gotta be one Something, something. So, yeah. like, you know, you could you could literally have a viewing party in a couple of years. So, like, hey, check it out. Mm. That little dot. Yeah. That was our from, station blowing up. Yeah. From this spot. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but if you wait, but you waited maybe six years, you could you could pick it up from Neu Bayern where you're headed. Yeah. 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 We could have this party multiple times. Wouldn't that, that actually would? Yeah. That's so funny to think about. Like that could be a fun. Like if we all stayed on this planet, that could be a fun reunion. Like in six years, let's all to get together with a telescope and watch the. Uh -huh. Back in six blowing. years, that's yeah. fun, actually. It is. It's fun. Um, well, shortly thereafter, uh, the, you, after you come out of jump space, uh, the captain advises you to strap in. The lights dim again, almost to darkness. Not just dimming; they kind of go all the way out. <laughs> this is a. Uh, you're running out. You're running on uh, the on Plurn's goodwill right now on the ship, <laughs> and uh, and then you whoop, back into jump space. Oof. Time goes by in the second week. You continue on. You're still looking for scrap, Willa Dean, uh, uh, Arthur. By this time, you're just like you and Plurn are just hanging out, like hanging out and fixing things together. And she's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, it's also the, probably the first Varker you've seen in a long time. I can't imagine there. Are, uh, You've, been, you've gotten to hang out, and not just a Varger, but a Varger who was raised in the Varger extents. So she is, like, you were you were raised in the Imperium, right? So... Yeah, I mean, yeah. so... It, 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 I don't know, it'd be kind of like if someone who is, like, you know, Italian-American hanging out with, like, someone from Italy. Mm. Yeah. You know, so I, I probably am making so many faux pas of stuff <laughs> that I believe based <laughs> off of, like, popular media. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like that episode a, of Sopranos where they go to Rome. Yeah, yes. I was just thinking, like, there was a, there was a <laughs> show where they did that. So I was like, yeah. so I probably like, yeah, like, we well, you know, Varga out in the extents do that. She's like, yeah, uh, that's that's not a thing, or that is such an outdated yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's what Lisa said when you travel we, different cultures. <laughs> different yeah, cultures. exactly. We only sniff each other's butts 
in private. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, I, and, I got a one on my corrals, man. I, if you want to say I just started just sniffing butts, I probably did. I <laughs> probably <laughs> so. um, oh Swan, you continue your research, but also Trey is kind of she wants to. Trey wants to pull you around and show you stuff. Uh, like show. Oh, the blap. The, yeah. The blap. The blap. Oh, yeah, right. The blap. Wow. And uh, and the uh, pug, I imagine you're still working on your comic. Maybe working you're comic. doing a little lifting if you if you brought your weights with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he's lifting and drawing his comic. Um, Are we all in your comic book? book? Found scrap. You found scrap. Ooh, I found scrap. Roll luck. I'm kidding. <sighs> Um, <laughs> Come on! And she's writing a letter. She found Scrap, and she brought Scrap into her quarters so that he can't escape again in, until they get to their destination. Uh, and she's writing a letter um, to her boyfriend, 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 say boyfriend. Say it's weird. It's hard to say it yet. Boyfriend, fiance, boyfriend, um, guy, back home, gentleman friend. A guy, yeah, yep, person, guy, person, a, a human <laughs> man in Canada. <laughs> Here, a real Nailed life it. man. <laughs> Nailed it. A real life guy. Uh, she's writing a letter. Um, she, had, she keeps rewriting it and crossing it out and rewriting it. Uh, Caitlin had this friend in college. My wife, Caitlin, had this friend in college who was like known for like they weren't malaprops, but they would. She would kind of like they're like common like kind of phrases she would have misheard them at some point and say the wrong thing um and one that we were particularly fond of was she's she's she tried i think she was going for absence makes the heart grow fonder and said abstinence makes the heart grow fonder Absolute. Mm, well, that's great oh. that's true too which that, we just thought was amazing that's hilarious <laughs> uh, um matthew one thing i do want to do this week is i would yeah. like to see if i can craft a bell and a collar for scrap what scrap has been found. Oh, okay. That's a good oh, idea. That's a good idea. Or if I could use electronics, yeah. uh, a tracker. Uh, you could do either. So if you want to do the tracker, mm -hmm. roll electronics. If you don't, I guess roll, what, mechanic to make to make a, to like fashion, like leather work, a bell? Electronics? If you want to do electronic tracker. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. So... I guess that'd probably be comms, right? Just a tracker? Oh, yeah, comms. Mm. Okay. okay. Or sensors. <laughs> yeah, sensors. Hey, I'll take that. I got a plus on that, too. There you go. I made the best tracker ever. Um, <laughs> so if I'm using education, it is a 13. If I'm using intellect, it's a 14. Wow. So it is definitely smaller than like an old Nokia. Uh, <laughs> it's like you get, it's like a little. It's like the width of the collar. It's like barely. It's like barely a bump on the collar. Wow. Yeah, it, and it's great. It works. Great. I Thank would you also so much. With yeah, that's that, great. Like to have a shock feature so it can't enter my stateroom <laughs> and eat my salamander. Oh my God. Terrible. With with your fourteen, I think you can add the shock Terrible. feature. <laughs> cool. I can't cross these little barriers. You could add and the my invisible. salamander is say, I've been in terror for the past week that it's gonna get in my room and eat my salamander. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nope, it's that's fair. That's fair. Willadeen is like, no, that's uh yep, that would happen. I was worried about that too. It's only it's only right that you shock scrap for trying yeah, to eat. For eat your four salamander. years. Yeah. Four years, like a living in fear, like Buzz, like I, like he's terrified for Buzz too. He says so. It's like uh, Harry Potter with the the cat and the rat. Yes, you know it probably took all four of us to hold the cat down just to put the collar on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hold this paw. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Pull out the welding torch. Okay, I'm gonna about to attach it. <laughs> <laughs> and scrap, scrap looks insane too. Scrap has like a missing ear, you know, like chunks taken out from getting in fights with other animals aboard the bucket for years. Just this like cat probably has a crazy backstory. Yeah, yeah. and we'll <laughs> discover it. Will you do character creation on the cat for us and report? Yeah, that? we should. <laughs> yes. Um, what was the cat in Game of Thrones? There was like a cat that she had. Uh, Sir Pounce. Oh, right. Yeah. Wait, it's who like had that. that? I have to look it up. Um, Marjorie, uh, ga Marjorie gave him to Tommen. Wow, great yeah. memory, Matthew. Yeah. I know. I was um, really just Sir Pounce had ca like captivated the internet's attention. He was yeah. uh, he was the internet's heartthrob for a while. I remember a 
Okay. Um, all right, on, uh, let's say night five of the second jump, you're all sitting around at the long communal table in the galley and the captain is just kind of looking at you and he's like, you all are awkward, like awkward, awkward. But I feel like maybe I could help. And I, because I feel like you've all been holding out on me. And he pulls out a bottle of whiskey, a small little like, like it's a, like a handcrafted, handcrafted whiskey, small batch. Like, Distilled on a little place on Sunset right now. Try it. It's not too bad. Come on, we'll all have some. And he pours drinks for everybody, for all of you. Pug like no sniffs at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. Okay. If uh, you insist, what are we drinking I, to? I do love myself a uh, a cup of a cup of warmth in space, in the coldness, in the vastness of space. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, what do we drink us to, like Swan says? Is, is this a, a sipping or a shooting drink he's pouring? Because I'm going to do the opposite. It's a sipping <laughs> Whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this one goes hard, eh? Plurin, Plurin abstains. She's like, Plurin's like, I got, I, got work to, I got work to do tonight, Captain. But I'll, I'll hang out, of course. I'll hang, but uh, I think, uh, I reckon we should toast to, uh, job well done, and, uh... Did we, though? Yeah. Not to interrupt you, Captain, but did we do a good job? Do you guys think we did? I think we did a good job. We're all you... alive, and, uh, we blew up the space station, so I guess that's... We followed orders to a T. I, I didn't even let nobody take any post-it notes. Yeah... And we counted six comets, right? In our six, six comets. Yeah, reported. I mean, what, what's what's wrong, Swan? You feel as though you didn't. I, I thought that you were wonderful. I thought you all were, and I want you to know that. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to like appropriate your accent like that, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. When you live been together for four <laughs> years, it happens. You did. We all up. come back talking talking like me from uh, my planet. Uh, Mm. You seem, uh, yep. you seem troubled though. Is everything all I right? Like, I just always wanted to feel like we did a good job. I mean, but um, you know, I just had this weird voice in my head. I don't know what it is. It's like a storyteller type voice. It said we spent four years doing nothing. So I just sort of felt that, you know, maybe we we didn't do everything we were supposed to do, and now we've blown it up. So there's nothing we can do. Oh, I mean, you found that kid. I mean, that was a big thing. <laughs> That did spice things up for You're not going to let me forget that, are you, Puck? You're not oh, going to let me forget it, are you? That was a huge deal. I mean, I mean, we were really one. excited for like those two weeks. It was yeah. pretty fun. That was great. <laughs> Until we found out that it, we found out it was, was not. Yeah. yeah. And then had to yeah. return it. To a job well done. <laughs> to a job well <laughs> done. done yes. And to, the, to a bright future. And a bright future in the stars. You all, you you all drink. I mean, everybody an empty glass. <laughs> <laughs> everybody roll okay. carouse. Carouse, okay. Oh, God, Let's see if no, I do any no. better. Another, another chance. Are we doing social oh. or endurance? Blew it out of the water. Uh, your choice. What are you trying to, if you're trying to like keep up with him, do endurance. If you're trying to like go with the flow, I would do social. Wait, we're rolling. I thought carouse. we were rolling carouse. Carouse, you add your characteristic modifier. Oh, choice. I didn't do that last time. Uh, okay, I'll do social this time. Okay. <laughs> Zero. Ten. Ten. Wow. For once. Okay. Pug, eight. how'd you do? Oh, okay. three. Eight, for, eight for Willa Dean. Pug, how'd you do? Three. <laughs> and how'd, how'd Arthur do? Uh, if, if Arthur's doing endurance so he doesn't get hammered, uh, <laughs> he is at an eight. That minus three wow. is rough. Okay. Oh, wow. So anyone who got an eight or above, you're fine. You're buzzed. You're pleasantly buzzed. Uh, Socially, he's a six. Uh, the rest of you, <laughs> including play. Marley, who rolled a th who rolled a three. I'm sorry, no, he rolled a zero. Uh, so he's oh. gonna. Marley is drunk. Uh oh. Mm. Uh, he's gonna take a DM minus two to every roll, and uh, those of you who failed, I think you're you're just gonna take a DM minus one because you are uh, you're inebriated. Okay. Uh, but, Captain pours another drink for another round for everybody. He's like, "All right, you've been holding out on us." And he stares at each one of you for a moment, and then he breaks. He's, you spent four fucking years in the rift, and you didn't encounter anything strange. 
Anything you can't explain. Not a single fucking thing that scares the living shit out of you. And Kaz next Whatever to that like, cat has been fighting. <laughs> yeah, the monster yeah. apparently living in the other animals <laughs> apparently living in the station. Which you've never known. <laughs> bleeding sometimes. Yeah, there's clearly the some kind of horrifying getting, xenomorph on the station. We're and getting we're, drunk and we're all like, that fucking cat <laughs> is some sort of monster. That cat turns into something else at night, I swear. <laughs> Uh, Kaz is like, he rolls his eyes and he's like, uh, to actually explain what he means, uh, he wants you to tell him some ghost stories. He likes ghost stories about the rift. This is oh. how he entertains himself. Anybody got a good one? Oh. And, Jack, and, and the captain's like, it's a vulgar term if there ever was one. But sure, ghost stories. Come on, let's have a proper share. Who wants to go first? A ghost story, like a true ghost story or just a, just a ghost story? A true ghost story, the only kind there is. Uh, Out in the vast here. I have one. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Uh, I've actually never told uh, nobody this. Um, my grandfather uh, was an explorer, but uh, my family doesn't didn't really talk about him much uh, because he he left us uh, to follow his passions. Can't blame a person for that. But, um, can blame them for other things. Anyway, there was a story, though, that was passed along from him. He was on a ship in the vast, and, uh, they lost a crew member doing repairs on the exterior of the ship. Tether snapped. Uh, thrusters gave out. Nothing they could do. Just watch the body float further and further away. But a few days later, they heard something on the exterior of the ship. So uh, they were suiting up to send somebody else out, and they hadn't since they had lost one. I was scared, superstitious. And when they, uh, when they were about to open up the airlock to, uh, repressurize to let them out, they saw their lost crew member outside the ship. What was he doing? I don't know. Nothing could explain how that could happen. There's no way that he would have been able to make it back to the ship. He was gone. They all, uh, I mean, rightfully freaked out. One suggested they try to save him. The other said that he would be dead. It didn't make any sense anyway. He would have lost oxygen days ago. They, uh, they discussed it for a while, but they were overpowered in numbers to not opened the airlock, they ended up keeping it shut, um, afraid of what might actually be out there, but they just heard on the exterior of the ship, for probably what felt like ever, uh, a banging on the metal door. All right, I'm going to need a Ooh. roll to see how this story Sid, goes that over. was awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Just that like... Was- I was, that was great, but I want to see how it goes over with the captain. So you, can right. do, you have some options. You can just do a straight social roll. You can do carouse, or if you have some other uh, some other kind of, you want to do like a, a some persuade? kind of like, persuade. Yeah, do there's I no real perform any... oh, option. What probably. about um, what about my leadership? Like commanding the room. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, you're like, a, like a, you're like going to roll on like presence. Yeah. 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 I because I don't really. There is no persuade, is there? There's persuade, yeah. Oh, there is. Per- I don't have anything persuade, so I'm doing leadership in my social. All right, go ahead. We'll, we'll, I'll adjust. I'll adjust the target. For... Oh, I rolled well. Uh, thirteen. Oh, awesome! <laughs> great. The captain is the captain. Looks at you and he's like, "Now yeah, that's a space of talk." And he pours you another drink, and we're oh. all going to go get a drink because we're going to take a short break. Nah. <laughs> Yo.
say Michael brings out his holy sword, places his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck, the trumpet has been sounded, the dead shall walk again. The serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast. And we're back. So the captain is very impressed with uh, with Willadine's story. He looks around to the others. Any other, anybody else got one? Come on. Surely you've seen something. You've heard something. Uh, I got a, I got a story. Please. I heard. Please tell us. Uh, this is when I was serving on the uh, Spinward Front. Uh, or the, the Trailing Front. <clears throat> against the war against the hivers or whatever. Um, so I heard this story on this planet I was stationed on. Gather around and hearken to the tale of the giant space monkey. So, <laughs> so uh, apparently there this when people uh, on this planet when they like, fall asleep they wouldn't lock their doors. This like big monkey would come in, come through, like go through their stuff, take their keys, um, you know, those little tools, those little, you know, those little statue things, like little commemorative statues, it, you know, for like, you get it a sporting whatever. They they take those, uh, and then if they were if they were awake, it just beat them up. The monkey would just like beat them up, and this happened like a lot, I guess. So, really scary. I mean, it scared me the heck out of me. All right, let's take a roll on that. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to roll for that story of the scary monkeys? I want to roll education. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I can just look guys oh, no, at the table like this. Uh, I don't think you're. I don't think you're thinking about it. It's a giant monkey. He said. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think you're it picturing it. Like it's a giant. Like think, okay. My keys are gone. But what if a giant monkey had them? Yeah. That's Fair. way right. worse. That's, scary. Scary. that's way scary. worse. All right. I'm gonna roll streetwise. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, streetwise and intellect. All right. Seven. Captain seems less impressed by that story. <laughs> what? Come on, man. I don't think you're picturing it right. <laughs> oh, no. Um, and then you look up and, uh, oh, actually, first, uh, everyone give me an endurance roll. Oh. You're on your, like, third whiskey now, third, fourth whiskey. That's, that's... It's Pug's time to shine. No, it isn't. Snake eyes. <laughs> Ten. Snake eyes. You old snake eyes? Okay. Mm -hmm. 10. 10, 10. Nice. Yeah, we can hold Eight. our liquor. Eight. Drinker. Okay. Uh, most of you feel fine. Pug, <laughs> you, 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 uh, you, your last shot, and uh, you feel queasy. Yeah. You're, you're going to take a DM minus one to everything for. Oh. oh. I'll let you know. Really? Uh, and then, you're not a giant monkey in your house. <laughs> you're not even awake. Uh, right. And then. Krog, actually, Marley, is like, um, I actually, there's something I saw once on the station. Why didn't you what? want to tell us about it, Marley? Oh, what? I, I don't I didn't want to make any of you feel weird. Um, yeah, um, I never, I never told you this, obviously. Um, well, one night, it must have been like a year or two in, I think, uh, I was shutting down for the night. I was finishing cleaning, you know, up, up in the galley, off the, up the dishes you left. I, 
It's not. No, it's. I don't mean to say it sounded like make it sound like that. It was my. I was my pleasure. But yeah, I was cleaning up, and then I was headed back to my room, and I got to my berth. And I was. Uh, I heard. Thought I heard something. Like I just figured it was like one of you all, or scrap, or uh, or you know, one of your pets that you, you wouldn't tell anybody about. Um, uh, so anyway, I just you know I went to bed, and then uh, middle of the night. I don't know why, but I I woke up, and it was dark, but. There was this woman standing there in my quarters, like at the terminal. And I mean, I never seen her before. She was like this old lady, like like really old, uh, like ancient kind, like this long. She had like long, stringy white hair. Like her skin was all craggy, and she was stooped over and hunched. And it, it, it was actually kind of weird because like she was kind of horrifying. But also some part of me knew that she was beautiful. Like maybe I just didn't understand what I was looking at. But I freaked out, right? I freaked out. So I like made some noise. I like, ah, or something. And she wasn't surprised or startled. And she just turned very, very slowly. And she looked at me. And she opened her mouth. And she just said, Don't go. And I said, I don't know, I just said, go where? And then she just kind of started to cry, but also laugh and cry. It was, I, and then I, I reached to hit the comms to tell you, to like get somebody down there. And then in the, the commotion, I looked back and she was gone. And this was never in important enough to mention this to us, Marley. <laughs> Mar Marley, why did you never report this to me? Well, I don't know. I just felt like I messed up somehow. Uh, uh, regardless, I, I, well, uh, what if there what if there had been a breach? What if someone had, had gotten aboard somehow? I, well, I, I don't know. I, I, and then the captain, he leans over and he puts his hand on, on Marley's, Marley's wrist. I have wet dreams too sometimes, son. <laughs> He's <a> captain. <laughs> the and the captain cracks up, and then a bunch of the bunch of the crew is laughing. You guys maybe are all still weird. Uh, 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 captain's like, yeah. I'm gonna get some water. Uh, and then he gets up and he staggers a little bit. Yeah. And he like he like shakes his head like, and then his eyes widen, and then suddenly a section of the bulkhead of the ship just disappeared disappears what whoa it just disappears and the captain is sucked out towards space uh -oh. and is like pinned up against the opening and the lights start to flicker and the all these alarms start to sound and any spacer would know the sound it is the decompression alarm no <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what the and, fuck uh pug you failed your endurance check earlier i did you start to projectile vomit oh my god okay <laughs> <laughs> flying at the captain uh cat <laughs> And I rolled, I rolled, so I did a luck roll on these guys. I rolled, a, the, the, that's the reason, a random situation. That's why the captain is the one that's in this position right now. Uh, Kaz also failed his endurance check and he's, he just falls to the deck and just starts vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. And you, and uh, Swan, you're sitting next to Trey and you look over and Trey was like holding her glass, like when they were all laughing and her forearm has just disappeared. And there just is like this like globule <laughs> of, nothingness in the space where her arm was and she's just like ah, ah, ah. Trey the captain um, everyone roll an uh, either intellect or education wait was her arm where the wall disappeared like is it like a clear no okay no what the oh my god fuck uh, sorry roll a what or a what intellect or education intellect is at 11 mm hmm Education for 10. Okay. Nine. Uh, I got a seven with the minus one from. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're taking a minus three now because you're projectile bomb. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Then, then, uh, okay. Then, yeah. um, it's five. clearly. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sir, no, I know what this is. <laughs> Arthur, you've never seen this before, but you've read about it and you recognize it. The jump field is collapsing. Oh, you've shit. You've missed jumped and jump space has begun to intrude into the ship. Oh, oh my God. shit. I will declare that uh, 
Matthew, we do I, I? I'm assuming I should probably get to the jump drives, but do we need a suit up? Like, is yeah. are we getting? Can we activate our our vac suits? You'd have to. That's a good question, Sydney. Uh, the, the captain is like vac suits. Everybody, vac suits. The jump field is collapsing. He's like whoa. He's going, he's like he's like try, he's clinging to the wall. What's oh left God. of the bulkhead? He's kind of, and you're all you all feel the pull of the vacuum. Like you're you're try, you have to hold on. Um, so. First things first, uh, let us roll either dexterity or strength to determine if you are <laughs> if you are able to hold on or if you're being going to be pulled towards the, the hole in the wall. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Marley fails. He gets pulled over the table and he starts like, to tumble, he tumbles toward, toward, uh, toward where the captain is. Uh, Trey... Trey succeeds, so Trey is like, even with one arm, she'd still be able to like, boom, and she grabs onto, the, grabs onto the table, which is bolted down. How did you all do? I did dexterity, I actually got a nine. Nine, a okay. You uh, you start to get pulled uh, pulled toward the, the table as well, so you'll take a minus, a, D, a DM minus one to any checks. Okay. I, well, also, I, got, I also got a nine. Nine, eight, okay, pug. Do I get? Do I get a minus three f- with my inebriation for the for a strength roll? Yeah, you're taking a minus three on everything because you're uh, you're get, you have jump sickness. You're just, oh okay. It's what you weren't actually drunk. You were actually feeling the effects of the jump field starting to, oh, to tremble. Oh okay, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, a nine. Okay, so yeah, you're all gonna take a DM minus one because you start you weren't you're not quite able to hold on as well. Uh, Plurn, Plurn rolls a ten uh, plus her. Intel, I'm sorry, plus her strength, or let's do dex for Plurn. Uh, so yeah, she rolls a 10, so she is able to hold on, and she's like, oh, come on, Nick, help me, help me! And she uh, she drags herself over to a maintenance hatch, and she drags out a large sheet of metal, and she's gonna try to patch the breach. She's like, mm. grab the captain, grab the captain! Um, what do you do? I grab the captain. <laughs> We're gonna I try will... to help to get the captain. Uh, I will see if there is a, uh, a, a, a basically a breach box like from the expanse. It's got like the cock gun or something. So once yeah. she gets the metal yeah. there, I can start yeah, yeah, yeah. sealing it. So yeah. like we're in the we're in the, the brig. If you go over to where the maintenance hatch where the uh, maintenance hatch was, where she pulled out the the sheet of metal, yeah, you see the the, the breach box there. It's for like that's this is part of the kit. Um, great. Um, all right, those of you who are help trying to going to help pull the captain away from the yeah. from the, the wall, give me a strength check. Oh, so we're gonna ta- so we're gonna task chain this. So uh, who's you have to, you of the three of you? You have to decide who's gonna make the the final roll, and oh. the rest of you are gonna you're gonna go you're gonna roll to give a, a basically a dice modifier. So I have a plus one to strength. Okay. Minus one, so I should probably go first, maybe or second. <laughs> Well, you could also choose not to do anything because if you because if you fail the roll bo- poorly enough, you can actually give a negative yeah. dice modifier to the. Yeah, you know track. what? I think Swan do will you, be. Do you have medic? Me. We got an armless person over there. Oh, do you have medic, Swan? Marley, you know, Marley has I medic. Do. Marley will. Oh, you oh, have medic. Oh, okay, great. Right. Yeah. I do. No, no, great. Um, so yeah. Okay. So who who so is. Pug, your strength is great, but you've got your vomiting, your projectile yeah, vomiting. Yeah, I'm real. I really probably shouldn't help with anything because I'm at a <laughs> cumulative minus four right now. So, so maybe somebody help Pug like activate his vac suit so he doesn't. Well, I don't think I have my vac suit. You like, don't have mine. You're gonna have to go and don them. But for now, okay. you need to. Yeah, you're gonna need to seal the, You're gonna need to deal with the situation, and then you okay. can vac suit up. We need to figure out what's happening. All right, what so happened. I'll just roll. I've already rolled like I'm I'm inching closer because I rolled that nine. So maybe purposefully, she just lets go of the table to like get to the captain, but strategically like plants her feet, you know, on the wall or something. So she has like force working. She can push off the wall and mm-hmm. try to grab the captain. All right. So you're are you gonna you're gonna, you're the plus one. You have a plus one to strength. So you're probably gonna go last, right? Yeah. All right. Are you are do Pug or Swam want to help her, or are you just gonna let let her che- do the check herself? Um, I, I mean, if, if I see something happening to the captain, the first thing that Swan is going to try to do is to, I guess, grab her feet or her arm to like, help anchor the captain somehow. <laughs> oh, like you're holding that me. Look- yeah, that's yeah. kind of fun. Okay. I rolled I rolled well. All right. Well, hold, don't tell us yet. Okay. So- uh, Swan, go ahead and give me a strength roll. It's going to be brutal. Well, 
Eight. Eight. Uh, you. Uh, that is a. That is uh, a marginal failure. No. Oh no. <laughs> so you're gonna take a. Mi- you, Sid, you'll take a minus one. Well. Oh no. I rolled okay. <laughs> but uh, Trey, uh, like, sh- shakes off your efforts to help her, and and also rushes over to the uh, rushes over to the captain. And she is going to attempt a strength check. Uh, oh my god. Oh no. Let's just say Blaps don't have great strength. Everyone stop uh, trying to help me. <laughs> and she rolled Minus an 11. <laughs> oh, okay. But with her with her mi- modifier, that's a 9, which is a... N- oh, I'm sorry, no, it's a 10. She's a minus 1. Okay, yeah. So okay, she actually... Nine. You you get a plus 1 to your roll, so that will offset. Ugh, cool. All right, so Sydney, what did the you Popeye roll? Popeye theme song. da 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 comes running out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Trey uses her tail to grab the captain's... Uh, one of the captain's hands, and then, like, braces herself with her feet against the... Like, on, on the floor against the wall. Yeah, and maybe, like, I tried to reach, reach for Swan... Because I mm-hmm. saw you were reaching for me, and it just mm-hmm. we just like slipped off each other, and it just caused like more chaos. Like I was like, oh, and then I like my body flew in a different direction. Uh, okay. okay, so Vomit's I rolled. Splashing everywhere. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ew, the vomit is like somewhat globular, like the zero G. Yeah. It's like, oh, um, I rolled an eleven plus one for my strength, twelve. Nice. Nice. I did not expect you to make this, but you got it. You're able to. Wow. You're able to pull the captain. Okay. From the wall, and then, uh... <laughs> so, Seth, let's task chain you and Plurn. Plurn. So she will, she's gonna roll a mechanics check to get the metal up there, and then you and then you, will, you can roll a mechanic check as well to, oh, actually, hold on, I have a whole system for this. Uh, okay. So it's gonna be a, it's a mechanic check to get the patch in place. And then a strength check to brace the patch, and then an easy mechanic check to weld it. So uh, we need mechanic, strength, mechanic. Uh, Plurn is not strong at all. Uh, she has a minus one to strength. How is your, how's your strength? Uh, I, zero uh, modifier. All right, so she's gonna say, "Help me with this." So she's gonna attempt the mechanic check to get the patch up into place. Uh, cracked eye, which is a good thing for you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, she uh, she gets it barely, uh, and then we'll need. What, a, what is the final check that needs to be done? Mechanic. Mechanic. Okay, I would like to use my awareness, psionic ability, inspiration. Okay. And oh. Through mental and physical activities, uh, enhancement can lead to flashes of inspiration, dexterous fine-tuning, and momentarily toughened physique adds plus two to any one check the traveler attempts in the next minute. So it is an average check, so it's eight difficulty. So whatever the final one is, is what I would like to do that for. Providing I can make it because I have no pluses on this. Okay. Do you get a negative if you fail? That is Matthew's call. It doesn't say, but Matthew, hey. it is on bottom of page 233, bottom right corner. Thank you. Nine. Okay, oh, you get it. Yeah. Wow. All right. So honestly, it's a, I, it's a, I'll say it's an easy mechanic check to weld it. That's it. But okay. it is a difficult strength check to get it to brace it. So okay, you, then that's the one I want to do it to. Okay, uh, great. Is so up my inspiration on my strength. So I do the Popeye thing. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> you use your mind to get Beat stronger. <laughs> so what am I rolling first to she's strength. Okay, so I have a plus two now. Looking for a ten. Oh god, that's exactly what I got. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Rolled an eight plus two, ten. Oh! Wow. Okay. So you use your mind and you suddenly feel invigorated and you're able to like Plurn gets it in place and you're and you just brace it and then Plurn will do the mechanic check because she's an, an expert mechanic using the task using the uh, the modifiers from the effects of the task chain. Okay, uh, she gets it easily and is able to like. Okay, you all like the gravity in the room is is, is stable. Uh, you're but the decompression alarm is sounding. There are way more of these all over the ship. And the captain is like, we need to get to the bridge. We need to patch all these ha- patch all these holes. That's not his voice, but you understand. But you understand. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> and then you and Plurn is like, 
The engines! The engines are, are off! Everything's shut down! We're, we're in a flat spin! Yeah. So you're, do we still have gravity? Well, that's an interesting question. If you look at the viewport, you are crashing onto a planet. Oh, you're, you're no! You've come out of what? space. What? Yeah. Okay. What the hell damn planet? That's a good question. What you the hell jumps. damn planet? You have no idea. The hell okay. well, damn I, planet we so are. So we need to fix the engines. We need to... Suiting up and go into the engine room. Yeah, yeah okay. I, gotta, I gotta suit up. Man. Yeah. So yeah, so you're in a flat spin. Uh, and you're like basically in the outer atmosphere of this planet. Um, so any check you do is going to take a DM minus uh, a minus one until you stabilize the ship. Um, the you have basically you have the hull breaches to deal with, and you have to restart the engines, and then you have to get yourself out of the spin. So, <laughs> oh. so we I can't do anything. We need There's nothing that I can the, do. The jump Actually, real fast, is over. Matthew. Uh, we had a minus one due to all that stuff going on, so I got a nine on that last roll. Oh. So oh. it might be whistling. All right, so yeah, it's a marginal, oh, that's going to be a marginal failure. So yeah, you you kind of get it. I forgot cash. that minus one. Um, <laughs> okay. You're so, so honest, Seth. The captain yeah. is like, Ooh, we, got, we got other problems to deal with right now. Uh, so yeah, so basically you have, you have to get to the bridge, stabilize the spin. Your pilot, is uh, currently uh, minus one arm. So we're, someone's gonna need to pilot the ship out of the spin. Oh, you, you probably oh. have more navigation than me. I have, pi we have pilot one. Navigation zero, okay, yeah, you, you, okay, yeah, you go for that, yeah. All right, so, and then we, you've gotta patch, you have to go locate and patch the hull breaches. And then you've gotta okay. restart the engines. Restart the engines. All these can happen simultaneously. We're not gonna go yeah. into initiative because I don't wanna track time that way, but we're gonna, you, we're gonna kind of, move through them as they happen. So who's gonna do what? I will definitely pilot and I'll take um, Trey with me. Trey lost the arm, right? Trey lost her arm, yeah. I'll take Trey with me just in case there's something I don't understand about the ship. Um, so yes, okay, that's great. what I'm doing. Um, Marley uh, is gonna try to stabilize her arm, <laughs> her like to make sure the blood that's like spouting out of her missing arm. Missing uh -huh. the Marley rolls a. Oh god, what's his what's his medicine? What's his, what's his medic? It's good actually. I think he's a medic too. Yeah, so he rolls an eleven. So he's able to like. Wow. He's able to like quickly bandage the arm and seal and like and like put a tourniquet on her so she can go with you. And we um, all respect Marley a little bit more. It's a little bit. A little bit. Um, all right, and yeah, and the jump sickness is gone. So now all those those dice modifiers are gone. You still have the DM minus one okay. for the for the spin, okay. uh, but you, you're like pug. You're no longer projectile vomiting. Okay. Um, yeah. What? So, who's doing what? Um. I okay. I would like to find. So, I would like to find out like what actually happened. So, I guess that's like engineering the engine or something, or to find out like, you know, what actually happened during the jump. I mean, because she knows that like it's, you know, jump is pretty much like a graphitic sort of, it's a gravitational thing, isn't it? Did something go wrong? Like did, did our capacitors fail or something? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm not sure you, you're like, you're like the ship is going to crash and you will all die. So yeah, maybe like- That might be a oh black box question after the fact. <laughs> so maybe the, I can yeah, help you. So the, to patch, the, to patch the, the hull breaches after you find them, it's gonna be mechanics and strength. So, okay. so if, you have, if you feel good about those, you join that task. If you're going to uh, restart the engines, Plurn's gonna go ahead and do that, so you're gonna work with Plurn. That's yeah, gonna be okay. um, a mechanic okay. and engineer. And then obviously piloting yeah. is gonna be piloting, or pilot. Yeah. Oh, I, so I wanted to do a, I wanted to take mechanic as a background skill. So can I do that now? Background or connections rules? Or connections, I mean, connections. Sure, connections who, would, who would you like to, who, who, with whom are you connected? Um, who else is? Does anyone have mechanic here? Uh, I do. Arthur. Okay. Oh, and Arthur. Yeah, I think like Arthur like needed help. There's just there was so much maintenance that had to be done on the bucket that he would ask Pug's help just because of like the the muscle factor. Just like needed oh, yeah. help this like lifting Hold stuff. Hold this. So, <laughs> yeah. So we ended up like I ended up working with them a lot just to the bowels of the station, just kind of like lifting stuff and, and learning as a result. So I think I think that's why he has mechanic one. 
Mechanic one. Okay, great. So so Pug, you're gonna go um, work on the hull breaches. Yep. Um, Arthur, are you gonna do hull breaches? Or are you gonna do work on the, go work on the engines with with Plern? Um, if if hull breaches is taken care of, I would love to work on the engine, but I'm gonna need to come up with a background skill to get engineering. Uh, because I have mechanic, <laughs> I do not have engineering. You yeah. you will need mechanic to help restart the engines. You'll need that skill, so that will actually come into play. Um, okay. And then, and Plurin is actually a very decent engineer. Um, so the two of you working together would be good. Um, all right, Sid, you're going to the bridge, and there are most there are multiple hull breaches. So if you are able to, and you're not going to be able to stabilize the ship until you can get you know get the ship impressed. Um, so first things first, I imagine you're all going to get back. Oh, I'm sorry, we, Alicia, what is Swan going to do? You mean specifically what she's going to do? Or because I wanted her to... Okay, this is... Mm. Okay, so Arthur is going to do the engine, you're saying. Yep. I'm wondering if... Okay, since I have navigation and I do actually have pilot... Should I, do I need to go with captain maybe i can help with nav navigation even if not piloting or can i take my electronics down to you know well, where who's who's breaching the hole was that pug oh yeah, yeah that, i'm taking care of the strength breaches. i have no strength so i mean I you help. could you could come with me to help pilot i feel like an aid to piloting i mean i have a one but like i could definitely use an aid if that's going to be like the final role to pull well, the I ship think you're because you're both small so craft, right? Sensors check both is maybe yeah. a task chain or you know, yeah, a, a something. And I have navigation. I'm, maybe I can I'm help. Spacecraft. Yeah, you'd be spacecraft. I think oh, you're spacecraft. Okay, at least you're small craft. I think, but you'd be able but to. You, but you would have zero in zero, overall yeah. piloting, yeah. so you would so be able to help. Why don't you? Go the, you can go to the bridge with yeah. with, with okay. Trey and and uh, okay. Lila yeah. Dean. Okay. Oh yeah, and good. That's right. And I can speak WAP kind of because I have language, right? No, you don't, unless you yeah. took specifically the WAP language, you do have to roll language zero to, to talk in WAP in Japanese. Every um, time when you say WAP, I, I just it. I just think of um, WAP, and I'm trying to find a funny <laughs> acronym yeah. for WAP, but I have not found it yet, and I'm like trying to get there. Maybe by the end of the episode, I'll find something funny to say. I, I always picture something like dough hitting a wall. WAP. Like, WAP. Yes, that's WAP. a great comic book association. Like it's like a WAP. Yeah, Maybe that's... the language sounds like that. Like yeah. it's just really snappy. Yeah. Yeah. Wap, 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 wap. yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> okay. I keep thinking of Bats, the movie from, I think, 2002. Mm. Doesn't apply here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, like... so are you all donning back suits? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's yes. task number one. All right, that <sighs> is going to take 2D rounds. This you son of a bitch! You can't no. ask us if we're doing that. <laughs> so actually, I did. It, it, that's not terrible. All right. So you, you basically, it's going to take you a couple minutes. So if you you're able to don emergency back suits, let's say they're out in the hallway. Um, great. Okay. So you're still you still have to deal with. Um, you're not going to take the any kind of negative effect from the, um, the lack of uh, atmosphere within the ship that's venting out into space. Um, but you still are going to take the minus one for the spin. It's hard to kind of stay stable. Um, okay, so let's go, let's go in this order. So, Pug, you gotta, f I'm gonna send, uh, the captain is actually gonna come with you. Because he's like, let's, let's find, let's find these, uh, let's find these breaches. Uh, and he will, he's gonna get to a, or already he doesn't have any access to the terminal. So he, because we haven't restarted the engine yet. So he is going to do uh, a recon check to attempt to get a sense of where the alarms are sounding. Oh wow, okay, he rolled very well. All right, so he's gonna, there. he gets the feeling there are two more hull breaches. Sorry, I didn't have a better in-story reason for him to know that. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you have two hull breaches to deal with. You get to, the first one is going to be uh, uh, near the starboard cargo bay. Um, so you guys head that way. Um, Plurn uh, will accompany you, Arthur, to the engine room. Uh, when you get to the engine room, you're going to you can attempt a task chain to restart the power plants and then get the M drive online. So it's going to be two. Uh, we're going to we're, this is going to be one task chain that will take the whole time. So it's going to be a difficult mechanic check to get the power plants online, and then the a difficult mechanic or engineer M drive check to get the M drive online. 
Do you have a preference? Okay. She'll she'll have to do the engineer. Uh, okay. Unless I unless I do a backstory connection, I can't do engineer uh, without killing us all. So I will gladly do the mechanic. <laughs> okay, great. Um, let's do that. Go ahead and give me. This is your. So she's like, get on the power plants. Get me some power. This is a difficult mechanic check. Uh, C eight. Am I doing intellect or education? Your choice. If I do intellect. It's a ten. Okay. But I have a minus one. So nine. Nine. Okay. Mar marginal um, failure. So you will give her a minus one to her check. So you're oh able to get no. the power plant online, but not fully. Like you can get like one of them online and not even fully operational. Um, oh, right. oh, it's it's direct current, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I'm doing. laughs> all right, she will roll an engineer M drive to see if she can get the engine back online. Is it doesn't don't spacecraft have to have a particular feature to allow them to for like atmospheric flight? Isn't that a thing in Traveler? You, if, that sounds if it's right. Streamlined, but I don't know yeah. if this thing's streamlined. Yeah, like yeah, because they need in. certain ships like need something when they want to refuel, like in a gas giant or an ocean or something. They have to have. I think it's yeah, they have to be or, streamlined. But if you're yeah, like a big right? Borg cube, you're just kind of screwed. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Me meaning yeah. that yeah. it, it wouldn't minuses. kick in automatically if like the wall blew out. Um, no, I mean like to, if, if you were to get into the like fully into the atmosphere of the planet and not be able to pull yourself back up into space. You would not be able to fly. You you just don't have. Oh. Right. This uh, so I was the best say we good. might be able to do is arrest our fall. Yeah. Yes. I uh, that's say, what I was ship, going for anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this ship, uh, it looks like from the way it was put together and with the modifications, it looks like it, it has sound never very streamlined. It's never <laughs> been an atmo. It's never been an atmo. It's always yeah. it's only been a, it only been in space. They, they, they didn't heat shield the bondo holding this thing together. <laughs> <so>. That's right. <laughs> the bondo is just ripping apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Plurin rolled a natural three. Um, it oh. takes a minus one for the task chain, a minus one for the the spin. So that's a one we're working with. She gets a, a two for her engineer skill. Leadership. You aren't. You aren't with her. I'm yelling. Are right, you want to get? On, all right. You want to get on comms and see if you can do a leadership role? Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna micromanage to in the middle of a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're, so you're gonna tell no, the engineer of a ship that isn't even yours. No, no, no. Your job. No, she no. really just says like. Pull together, crew! We have done this before! We will do this again! We have been in worse pickles than this jar! Now get it together! <laughs> and right, that's give me, she give me a leadership roll. So you're gonna roll 2D, add your leadership skill, and add social. Uh, when I have a one, I'm adding a one, right? Yes. Okay. Add, yeah. Plus making one. sure. Uh, 11. <laughs> 11, okay. Nice. So you are able to give that it was an average it was gonna be an average check. So you have three boons you can give out to anybody on the crew, since well we'll say we're all on comms together. So basically a boon is you take a third D6 and you drop the lows. So I'm gonna give that to Plurn for her roll. Okay. It might not help though, because she rolled a three, right? Yeah, so I rolled a two and a the one. The best she could possibly do is a natural But she uh, still gets pluses to it outside of my Dice boon, so she might be able to yeah. get like a ten. Maybe? It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough. It's tough. Does he give her two? Can he give two boons on a single roll? No. So like roll them both. You can roll. You can have max boon on any roll at any time. You can have one, but you can have a boon. One, one boon and one bane. So you can you could like we could cancel each other out if uh, okay. max to. boon. I think he fought Joe Lewis. Max in, uh, boon. That's a great like secret agent name. Max yeah. boon. All right. She rolled a five. So let's set down his comic book notes. Oh, Max, <laughs> so that's a seven. Uh, plus two, minus two. Minus. Uh, be distracted. She, she doesn't get it. No. Um, it is, however, a marginal failure. So let's say. Oh, so she is able to get the engine online, but you do not have full power. Okay. Let's say she only has enough power to. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, so she's going to have enough power to get two systems online at any given time. All right, your systems will be flight control, life support, M drive, and J drive. Oh, no. we, we have suits. We could probably drop life support. Yeah, everybody has That's vacuum true. suits on. We're suited up. We're we definitely up. need flight. 
I'm navigation. sorry about the cat. <laughs> oh no, the cat! All your, all your oh, pets. pets. Oh my god. No, no, no. Scrap has Scrap has a mask. Scrap has like a bubble mask. <laughs> oh, I mean, he probably did this. <laughs> Wait a second. Did Scrap do this? <laughs> did Scrap sabotage your jump drive? <laughs> I, I was actually picturing somebody getting to one of the holes. There's a cat straddling the hole with all its sperm. <laughs> and the air duct. <laughs> Scraps right. on the outside of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, so you're going to drop life support. So then yeah. you have flight control, M drive, and J drive. Uh, don't need J drive right now. Yeah, drop so J drive. flight control, M drive, M -drive. Or probably. All right, so you get so you have the maneuver drive and you have flight control, but nothing else. So you have no comms, you have no like, no navigation, nothing. You you just are just flying like flying blind with just like engines and the and this and the yoke. The also, we are entering the atmosphere of this planet, so if it is a breathable atmosphere and we get low enough, maybe there'll be enough oxygen That's for our good. pets to survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. The, if you don't have life control on the on the planet. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, uh, life ju support. just FYI, uh, life support includes gravity. So just. Oh, oh shit. shit. So all of a sudden we all just go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your seat should have a seat belt. You're not wearing your seat belt. <laughs> all right. cool, cool captains don't wear their seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually going to come into play if you're not able to get out of atmosphere. Um, so, okay. Pug, you and Captain Jax are. Uh, <laughs> Are getting uh, you're gonna get high tonight, uh, but the <laughs> <laughs> you get to the first uh, the first hull breach. Uh, you get you you have Did your you fight you Jersey bastard. <laughs> Captain Jacks, get, get out of here. I didn't even th I honestly didn't think about that until right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, because it's so ingrained into your Jersey soul. They just accidentally <laughs> named the character after a Billy Joel song. Billy Joel is not from Jersey; he's from Long Island. How dare you? How uh, dare you? He's the most Jersey guy ever, despite that. <laughs> Um, okay, so you get to, you're outside the starboard cargo bay. You see a big old hull breach. You just see like, and you can see like, your the ship is spinning, so it's just like a swirl of. So you see like space and then like sky and space and sky and space and sky. I'm gonna throw up again, I, which I totally <laughs> oh. would if this happened to me. There's no way I wouldn't project the bottom. Oh, um, I saw gravity. Jesus. Yeah, no. it's terrifying. That is really. Um, okay, so this is the getting the patch into place is a very difficult mechanic check. Okay. Um, uh, you know what? I'm, it, it's, it's a difficult mechanic check. You've got two people, um, and also I want you to uh, not die. Um, okay. So what do you have? You have strength, right? That's going to be your. I do. All right. Yeah. The captain has a zero to mechanic, so he's going to. This is basically going to be uh, just his education plus his mechanic role. Okay. Willadine uh, can give two more boons. Yeah. That's true. And well, I have a I have a neural com. So I would I also so if you would like to give a boon, there's gonna be two there's two hull breaches he has to patch. Also you have to you're gonna have to try to fly this this uh this big old uh Yeah, but I've got this. I've I've got Swan, I've got Trey with me. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. And, and we've probably all got <laughs> comms in our suits. Mm -hmm. So You know what? We, the captain is gonna make a leadership role. He's a captain. He's this is his ship. Yeah. Yes. Is, all right. He's gonna make a leadership roll, and roll two, and roll a natural two. I'm gonna. Um, so the kill if him. That doll's that, eyes. Oh, <laughs> like a doll's eyes. No, this is really bad. <laughs> this is really really bad. Oh, no. Yeah, because that's Bane's, right? It's Bane's. Or, it's oh Bane's. my god. Bane's. What do they call him? Yeah. They call so, Bane's. Yeah. Bane's. Yep. And Bane's. Okay. So this he captain sucks. Two. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay. He was using his social. Okay, <laughs> I have four boons. I have four banes to hand out. Oh my God. Jesus! In this, uh, all right. So you know what? He's gonna. T so he'll take a. He will take a bane on this roll himself, because that's okay. as like a good captain would do. He tries to inspire you all, and he just gets angry. He just starts like cursing up a stream into the comms. You can't even communicate with each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Okay, he rolled. He rolled a six, a five, and a four. Wow! Uh, so that's a five and a four for him. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the power he's able of cursing compels you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> uh, and what? he gets he gets the he gets the plate into place. And now, uh, Pug, you need to do a strength check to brace it. 
Okay, strength check with mechanics or uh, just straight, just straight up strength. Just strength. Uh, eleven. Okay, you uh, you you are able you you use your armadillo <laughs> strength and you're just like boom. You hold it there and he gets the he gets the the, the this is all, this one's only a uh, it's not a Milwaukee or a Ryobi it's a uh, what's the what did we used to have I don't remember. Fisher Price. Oh, yeah, a Fisher, Fisher Price, Price. girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, he'll take yeah. another ba- he'll take another bane, which is terrible because he rolled a six of five and a one. Um, however, that is that is sufficient to get the uh, get the to weld it in because it's an easy check. Um, okay, so yeah, he gets you get one hole patched. Meanwhile, Swan, Trey, and Willadeen, you get to the bridge. Mm-hmm. Um, We're seeing this. Yeah, you see, you like the the ship is now um, because you took the time to don the vac, vac suits. Uh, you are now in a spin and a tumble, so you are spinning laterally and tumbling end over end. You're basically this, and I just wanted to like communicate how big this ship is. It is enormous. It is huge. It's the size I, I of like, sure, a like the size ship. of like, it's like like a shopping mall. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's four thousand tons. It's so four thousand around like it's, it's four thousand tons. Yeah. yeah. Yes, oh, yeah, huge. and so it, it is uh, maybe the size of a, a decent sized Walmart uh, that we're yeah. flying. So Not imagine... as aerodynamic as a decent sized Walmart as well. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Just, it basically... that's the same with the same flight characteristics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, the way I picture it, it's like the size of the Nostromo. It's just like, and just imagine that thing just like tumbling end over end and spinning. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm going to need a strength or dexterity check for whoever's getting in the pilot seat to get into the pilot seat. You gotta, basically, uh, like you're gonna like you're like crawling up. I will and, do that. All right. You said strength or dexterity. Or dex, yeah. Okay. Ten. Okay, you're able to like you like the in in the like the spin you're like grabbing onto the grating oh of, on the fl- of the floor and you're able to like, kind of like crawl when you get lifted up your 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 legs go up in the air oh as the ship spins and you slam back down, but you're able to eventually crawl yourself up into the pilot seat. All right. Meanwhile, let's deal with the last. Let's deal with the second hull breach to see what you're dealing with here. Let's see what, what kind of controls you're going to have. Um, Plurn, roll. I'm re- oh, sorry, Pug, roll recon. You're trying to find that last decompression alarm. The captain's going to roll two uh, and take a bane on this. I'm sorry, this is the last. Oh, we're both we're both going to take a bane. This will be the last of the captain's banes. Okay. Uh, um, seven. Okay. Uh, you. The captain is able to find it, but it takes you a little extra time, so that will just affect what eventually happens in the piloting check. Um, okay, you get to, you find the other one in an empty stateroom. It's like an em- a random empty stateroom in the, on the ceiling. So I imagine the two of you are just kind of like, you're like climbing up there, the ship is spinning and then dr- and tumbling and you're like slamming against the walls. Uh, but you the, the captain will do the first check, the mechanic check, no more banes. High speed inception fight. Uh, no yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, he yeah. gets the he gets the plate in place. Uh, will you do your strength check to to hold it? Pug. What? Do your strength check to hold the plate oh, in place. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> is this, this a minus one for the? Yeah, just a regular minus one for the. Uh... Uh, nine. Okay. All right, you're able to get it in place. Oh wait, no, that's a marginal failure. Oh no, um, man. Okay, so you're again able to get it in place, but you're, uh, but, and then the captain will Remember, weld it. We have luck, says the guy. It didn't even use his own luck when he failed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the captain rolled boxcars to weld it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, with that, with that, with that effect, I'm gonna be, able, he's gonna be able to, with your task chain, undo your, your marginal failure, and you get that patched. Okay. Okay. On the bridge. Uh, Willa Dean. With Trey and Swan's help, you are going to have to try to get out of this spin. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, up there, lights you, lights are flashing from every console. You've got alarms blaring at each station, and you know you're, you're you're you've been descending. You're now in the like you're now in the planet's atmosphere. So this is going to be extremely difficult. So you're going to have three checks. You have to stop the spin, stop the tumble, and then try to pull up and not crash on on, on the ground. So, um, Swan and Trey yeah. will task chain with you. Swan, what are you doing to help assist um, Willa Dean in her piloting? 
I'm, you know what I'm assuming? I mean, that, that the captain's seat is like attached to the floor. Is there a way that I can like figure out tethering? Cause I see what um, Willa Dean's trying to do. Can I somehow help like tether her to the chair? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you want to like strap Wait, her in? Was it just yeah. like the one that yeah, hung like, from the ceiling? Help. Like Event Horizon? Oh no, my god, so otherwise yeah. aren't we like centrifugal force, like plaster against that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. This is like the, at a this, carnival. The pilot, right? the pilot yeah. station has the yeah. uh, like the the little plastic flaps so that they can keep it climate controlled for Trey. Um, it's also oh. extremely oh. humid in here. Oh, They're no, just you know, hitting oh. us in the face. The heavy like PVC plastic flaps, like <laughs> whap, whap. It goes whap, 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 whap. Um, I think of the, that, the Gravitron ride at the fair where all of a sudden that voice say, yes. so you want to yeah. go faster? No! <laughs> <laughs> your skin is being pulled back against your skull. Like, yeah. Um, Stop. All right, Swan. Stop. Okay, I will allow you a, let's do a, a dex check to strap her in. Okay, dex is better than strength, but do I have any um, negatives? Any? No, I'm, I shouldn't even ask you that. I don't want to know. You take a minus, you're taking a minus one to everything because you're still in the spin and the tumble. Oh, I can't use luck. It's too late, right? <laughs> no, you can use luck. You haven't revealed it. So if you want to spend some luck. I have 10 luck. So if I, if I spend one, what does that mean? That your, I... your luck becomes nine until the uh, the, the end of the adventure. Mm, okay. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's okay. You think it's okay? Do you think I'm going to need like, I think, I think, you know what? We should spend them while we have them. You can't take them with you. And we might die. Well, that's true, except if you have to make a luck roll, you might be hurting any rolls you make down the line. Yeah. Really? You, this yeah. is going to be an oh, I'm going to say it's an average check just to strap her in, even with the, uh, but you take a minus one. Yeah, but that would, that would put me at a three is my point. Oh, uh, so oh. Luck, oh. one point well, of luck isn't going to even help you. Yeah, that won't help oh, at all. Oh, forget it. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that is a failure. So, uh, Willa Dean, you take a minus two on this roll. You also take a minus one. From oh wait, what the, about what about my leadership though? You, well, you can throw. You can give yourself a boon if you okay. want. Yeah. But you still take mm -hmm. a minus. You can take a minus one for the spin, and a minus two for the task chain. And you'll take an. The additional swan is putting a seatbelt around your neck. It's not helping me. I'm kicking. No, you know what it is. You're doing a great job, but Willa Dean doesn't like to get buckled in, and I'm kicking like a toddler. Like I'm like arching my back, and I won't let you strap me in. Um, like her you hair. Know, has <laughs> has his or Trey Trey will attempt to join the task chain as well. Please, Trey. See if she can give you a little bit of something. Please, okay, Trey. Trey rolls a wow. nine to strap you in. She's like, no, no, like, there you like, go. Like this, like this. Okay. Um, all right, so it's just going to be a minus one from the task chain. And a minus one. No, I'm sorry. They, her, your uh, Trey's success cancels out uh, Alicia's uh, failure, and Thanks. so you're going to take a minus one from the from the spin, and minus one because that first patch wasn't uh, quite sealed. Okay, so still a minus two. Yeah. But I can. But you I'm roll three, three d six, and take the two best ones for my boon. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. I like the idea that first patch broke. Once they got the second, the third patch replaced, like it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Okay. Um. So that's gonna be plus my pilot. Plus um, your decks. And my decks. Oh, amazing. Okay. And eleven. Right. Oof. Dex you are is able my, to stop Dex the spin. Is my best. You're oh, able to stop the spin. Uh, so you, that huge. minus one will go away. You, so now you, you are you. The ship has stopped spinning laterally, but it's still yeah. tumbling end over end. Oh my god! So I'm gonna need another piloting check to now stop the to, to stop the tumble. I'm just yelling in my comms. Would you like to do another? Would you like to join do another chain? Would Swan like to help out help out this time? Do you want to try to help me with the pilot and Dex or no? Yeah, because I do have pilot. So why don't you roll pi roll piloting plus your decks, and you're kind of coaching her through. Yeah. Maybe you've, you've been you've Let's been in a spin before. Yeah, we're ass over tea kettle. I need you, Swan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, let go of the seatbelt. <laughs> I'm strapped in. I'm ah, strapped in. I'm already strapped in. <laughs> Stop the tugging the seatbelt. Take the seatbelt off. <laughs> okay, that's a nine. Okay. As a success, 
Uh, Great. So you get a plus two to this roll, Sid. Okay, Huge. amazing. Trey uh, rolled ra- rolled a uh, a success as or so sorry sorry Trey rolled an eight, which is a marginal okay. success. So you get a plus one from that, not a plus two. So you have a plus three. Amazing. Okay. Trey Trey is like trying to coach you through using the controls. Like, no, no, that one there. No, no, pull that. No, no, no. You twist that one and then you jiggle it a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna use my last boon. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I rolled uh, a one on one of my die. So this is oh. That's, I think, going to be the same. Oh, wait, no. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 with that plus 3. Okay, Whoa, this was a, this was a very difficult check, and you're able to do it. You're able to, get, you're nice. able to stabilize the ship. However, you were still uh, just, like, falling to the ground. Yeah. You're just not tumbling over end over end. So, you're, like, firing the thrusters and trying to, like, use, like, compensate mm-hmm. for atmosphere and gravity, which the ship was never designed to be in. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this ship, it's, I mean, it's just lumbering, like you're basically just like flying a giant brutalist Walmart with no wings into, oh my God. <laughs> toward the ground. All right, uh. so, uh, I'm gonna need a check. Uh, you get, so you're gonna get a DM plus two for succeeding in the previous two checks to this check. You can, we're, we're, I'm happy to do a task chain with, uh, with Alicia and with Trey. Um, and this is going to be your check to stop the crash. Basically, to pull up back into space. Okay. So, Alicia, uh, Trey will roll. Trey will roll to a piloting check to keep helping you. Okay. Okay. I, I can. Trey got a I success. Mean, so he'll get a plus two from Trey. <sighs> by the way, a fruit fly just flew by me, and I totally just grabbed it out of the air. Wow. Look at this. Look at Mr. That. Miyagi. And Mr. Miyagi, that fruit fly. Good job, man. <laughs> It's been flying like around this face. whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> they like okay. oxygen or carbon dioxide or something. I couldn't remember. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm so tense about this situation. <laughs> no. uh, like that. They like it. Um, okay. Yeah. Do you, Swan, do you want to try to do piloting again with me? Yeah. I can. I mean, I have piloting. I mean, I don't think science is going to work at this point, and I have no strength. So it has to be. Yeah. It has to be pilot because that's the only one that's. Here we go. And your deck. And I don't. I, and my dex does a zero. Right, but that's okay. Zero. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, your pilot. It's not a negative. Yeah, so at least- You're, cur- you're currently at a plus four, so. Oh, wait. From, How? The, from Trey and then the other from two. From Trey success. and from the previous two successes. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And we're out of boons, right? Did we're we, out of boons. Was yeah, that our that last was, one? That was my last boon. That's a cool this an, thing, though. This is an eight. An eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is going to give you a minus one to the check. That is a marginal failure. Okay. No, I'm sorry. That is a failure failure. That gives you minus two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, back down to a plus two. All right, so you're at plus two on this roll, plus all of your standard dice modifiers, your piloting, your decks. Okay. Okay. Go Here I go. All right. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. You're, the ship is now like just, you, it's like you, this is the ground, it's like you see like the, the mountains and green grass and forests and valleys and rivers and oceans are all just like coming up. Like, like right at the at the view screen of this huge lumbering freighter that's hurling oh towards God. the ground. So Walmart, Walmart, <laughs> we're bringing Walmart to your planet. That's right, <laughs> coming soon. Great thing for less. <laughs> so big, big I savings. Rolled, I rolled a five, a three, and a two. Not good, but plus my one in piloting, six. Plus my two in dex, eight. Eight plus the two, ten. So this is like. Did we get that last two, Matthew? Yeah, we got the yeah, two. I had minus previous. two from the four. Okay. But I had okay. two. That's right. So a 10 total, but that's like right on the edge of what could be disastrous. So with all the help from Swan and the help from and the help from Trey, you're able to kind of learn, very quickly learn how to control this giant flying like building. AKA it has no power steering is the feeling of driving this thing. Like oh, it no. should be turning and it's just yeah. not turning. It's like impossible to, to wield the steering mechanism. And you, uh, you're fi- you're like, you, so at first you're doing well, you're like firing off the thrusters, you're learning the controls, you get the ship stable, but you're still crashing. And you just grab, the, you just grab, you're like, the yoke. grab the yoke and you just yank it as hard as you can. And you cannot pull it up. No. Oh, no. no. The ship no, is no, going no. to crash. Like, the ship is, is going no. to crash. No. Can you at it least is, skip us off an ocean or wait, something? Wait, I use my luck. I use my luck. Okay. Um, all right. How much luck would you like to spend? 
I would like to spend... Oh, it's Matthew! <laughs> <laughs> can I just Who's Matthew? Yeah. Can you tell me can you tell me if one is gonna do it? If I go to a seven, like and I get an eleven, is it gonna do because I, I don't wanna waste my luck. I mean, when you're at a casino and you're playing blackjack, do you do you know the do you unless you're counting cards, that's not uh, luck. Crew, yeah. do you think I should do it? I would spend two points. I think so. Two? I would spend I would spend two. Okay. It you're, depends you're, if the difficulty is twelve or fourteen, which I know, really what it comes down I to. Know. All right, your captain is oh. about to become one unlucky son of a bitch. That's down to two, and I'm gonna spend my two luck points to bring that to a 12. Okay. okay. <laughs> With that roll, you see, you're, you're at this point, you're like you're hurtling down towards a large mountain range on, a, on one of the oh land masses of the planet. And you see up ahead and you know, kind of in, this, uh, in the distance, what looks like a nice valley where you could maybe crash land the ship. But you are still going to crash. <laughs> okay, okay. But at All least right. it's not into a mountain. Uh, okay, so yeah, you, uh, Trey sees what has happened. She's like, everyone, she like slaps the comm button on her suit. And she's like, everyone strap in. All right, so <laughs> you all have a chance to somehow either strap in or secure yourselves uh, based on where you are. Uh, Pug and uh, the captain are still in a state room. It's all kind of was happening at the same time. Um, Just so jump you... in that bed so it's got the lockdown feature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spoon! Spoon! Yeah. Spoon for your life! Spoon! <laughs> <laughs> so you could, uh, yeah, you could brace yourself in the, in the, in the, in a place that doesn't have a, like a chair to strap into. So yeah, you'll, you can brace, but you can't. And you can't strap in, or you could try to leave the stateroom to find a secure. I'm gonna brace. All right, Pug will brace. The captain will brace with you. Those of you on the bridge, there are chairs available, so Swan and Trey can both strap in. I'm already okay. in, baby. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, and 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 Lil Dean, you're already in. Uh, down in engineering. Uh, there is they're, one. They're kissing. This is making, oh he's full God. on laying like, each other's like dog like end of the faces. world uh, make yeah, out session. Yeah, if you guys aren't making out, I don't know. You're doing it wrong, <laughs> Seth. <laughs> Seth, I'm going to roll. Uh, I'm going to roll. Or I'm going to have you roll a luck roll to see if there is one chair that you can strap into or two. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I've got I've got a luck of eight, so that means I've got no plus on this roll. <laughs> yeah, eight or above. Eight or above, there are two chairs. He fights her for the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven. Oh, she'll have to sit oh. in your lap. All right. So <laughs> one of you can strap in, and one of you is going to have to brace. But I'll give you a, a bonus. I'll give. I'll take that into adjustment if you brace together with the strapping chair. Um. So which one of um, you is going to take the chair? I have. A, I have a better strength. I'm going to do the chair. I'm sure vac suits have like carabiners and stuff. So I'm pretty much going to try to like hook <laughs> myself onto the front of her roller coaster brace I just <laughs> hold on for my life right, she's like she's like take the chair you take the chair you're you might be able to absorb the, the impact better all right so you strap in and you hook yourself to plern and she's like like you're, you're just like you're just like face to face right now like, oh my god yeah, so, so she's wow. in the chair right no, you're in the chair oh you want her to take the chair Hot. I wonder if she I can't fix the drives. I have no engineering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's going to take the chair and you're going to strap yourself to you're going to strap yourself to her. So you the face plates of your vac suits are basically like bumping up against each other. That's they're going to clock really hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh okay. So, uh you pull up with all your might and the ship is like just like just shaking. Sh like shaking, 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 and there's a oh uh, oh I forgot. Uh, so uh, you as you come up on this mountain range, uh, the ship bucks, and you for something you've lost something from the hell the hole probably one of those big fuel tanks. Oh, and it's it, it knocks you off course, and you're gonna hurl directly into this mountain range unless what? you're able to roll another piloting check. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. all of us, Gene. Can we do it? Chain? No. You're now at different. St if you're strapped in, you're at different stations, and I'm not going to allow the, the chain this time. Okay. You're an evil man. You know that. <laughs> you're like you an evil this. guy. So, you oh, box 
cars, oh! baby. Okay. Oh! What? That is a oh, 12 shit. plus 1, 13, 14, 15 total. That okay. tank was what was holding you back. <laughs> yeah. So you yank this. You've <laughs> now been struggling I'm with this yoke. It's like it's like you've been trying to hold it steady. The whole ship is bucking. You feel this buck, and you're like, boom. Oh, oh no! And you you just yank it back the other direction. All of your might, like your like veins popping out oh of your forehead. God. You're just, yeah. and you are able to clear the craggy ridge ahead of you. And <laughs> you you're coming up on this valley, and the war, war you pulled up, you pulled the nose up. So the warbler is basically just like falling a falling building right now. Oh my god! And it plummets to the ground and slams against the against the earth, and dirt and trees and vegetation just fly up in the air. All right, so we're gonna roll damage from the impact. Oh. oh. All right, so no one is unbraced, so that's good, because if I did do that, it would be 6D damage. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh, this is from the 60? book, too. Wow. There's no book. From the 60 in front of me. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay, so for those of you who are braced, it's just gonna be 4D damage. You're rolling it? I'm rolling it. Evil, evil man. Okay, uh... okay, only one six. Okay, that's gonna be... This is damage to the ship, right? Not... Uh, no, to you not individually. To us. Oh. oh my god. That is gonna be 12 points of damage. Oh no. Oh boy, howdy. Okay. So, I believe that only applies to... That's gonna apply to Pug. And, oh Arthur, you're in a special case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll yours a little separately. Uh, so, okay. Pug, yeah, you take 12 damage. So, how, do, how does that... How, are you all right? <laughs> May I? No, not at all. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> Wait, this, it all goes our, to uh, endurance first. Do right? our vac suits absorb any of this? Good question. Yes, I'll let it absorb. Yeah, let's we'll say uh, the vac suit can absorb two points of damage. It can, it can soak two points right, of damage. so I'm down to two points of endurance. Oh, so you're so conscious. Yeah, I'm oh, so you're conscious. you're fine. <laughs> Yeah, so I slam like into the <laughs> into the floor of the ship like as we crash. So yeah, the, the way roof it, maybe. All right, like yeah, it's just boom, and it's just like <gasps> like this. My ribs crack and like oh all the air is forced out of my lungs. I'm just like lying there trying to get my breath back on the ground. Um, uh, okay, uh, the captain goes out. You're you the two of you are kind of braced together, and you he takes the damage, and he's and he's like his he just goes unconscious. So the way damage works in Traveler, you take your, your endurance first, as like just your endurance score becomes your hit points. Once your endurance is depleted, you can go to either strength or dex. When you have two physical characteristics at zero, you are unconscious. When you have all three at zero, you are dead. Yeah. And if you have da if you have damage on all three, like you split it out after your endurance with that, you've got a major surgically requiring wound. So yeah, like yeah, injuries oh are gosh. like bad news in Traveler. They are so bad. It's news. best when you get to that second stat to probably just commit to one. Because slot players are like, I'll take one off strength and one off a dex. Like, okay, well your ribs are all sticking out. And you're <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Arthur, you take seven points of damage. Oh, that's not that bad. No, I rolled poorly on that one. I gave. I, I'm doing. I did four D for brace, three D for your situation where you had a little bit of a. Halfway in between. All right, everybody else. Oh, I got to roll for all the NPCs, but hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, Every, all the other people on this call, you take eight points of damage. Oh, hey. Oh, for those brother. of you strapped in, 2D damage. Okay. I rolled well. Eight points of damage. Oh my god. I, wow. That's, wow. Yeah. How's everyone, is anyone unconscious? No, my no. endurance is at four. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go oh, ahead and- And you said, you said two points due to vac suits, right? Vac suits can, absor can soak oh. too. Or, yeah, you can, we'll count them as armor on this. My vac suit has a protection plus eight. Oh. What does that mean? Ooh. Did you have a, did you buy I have an a, augmentation? I have a good vac suit. suit. Yeah, and it has yeah. magnetic grapples, extended life support, it's self-sealing. I added a lot of stuff to my vac suit. Mm -hmm. So it's a plus eight protection. But I don't All know right. what that means in terms of like DR, Damn, like, I don't know if that equates to like- Yeah, I think this is like, I think he's just saying back suits too, just because this isn't really combat, it's a different kind of situation. Okay, so. that makes sense. Yeah. It's uh, not like Trey. a bullet, it's like your whole body hitting a wall. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Trey had already taken damage from the, uh, you know, the losing of an arm. Um, oh, and no. also Bwaps are not particularly hardy creatures. Oh, no. um, but, uh, so, uh, 
She is still conscious, though. Barely. Uh, all right, let me roll. Don't flaps regenerate limbs? That's a fun, yeah, funny right. you should mention that, Seth. In fact, they I do. I mean, like, over the course of, like, months, I'm not, like, I don't yeah. think anyone's going to pop right out. But, yeah, they're like Wolverine. Right. Uh, okay, Plurn. Uh, I'm just, I'll, I'm just, let me just figure out how everyone's doing, and then I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Oh, do not, do not have my, my hopeful girlfriend die in front, oh, of, no. <laughs> in front of my mast. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. All right, I already rolled this. I know what this, I know what the result is. Okay. Uh, and then I got to do Krog. Okay. All right. Okay. So, the impact alone cracks the ship apart. And one of the boxy cargo sections is like flung off in another direction upon the impact. And the momentum carries the rest of the ship forward across the ground, just like create, cutting this massive furrow into the, into, into the earth. And all on board, every single possible alarm is blaring. Klaxons are sounding throughout the ships, like bulkheads are just exploding off the walls. Sparks are sparking. The control panel you're sitting at, Willa Dean, is just like sparking at you. You're trying to, it's like right in, your, in the visor of your back suit. The hull is cracking and these huge tears and ruts are being cut into the wall and it's still hurtling forward. Um, and it's like, like for a while, like just imagine again, a Walmart just like rushing across the earth and just like cutting <laughs> a furrow into the ground, a Walmart just sized furrow into the ground. Yeah, I'm trying That's to picture it. The new name of our ship, the Walmart. <laughs> the Walmart. The Warbler. The Warbler. And then, uh, Eventually, eventually, you're hurtling towards like the other side of the valley, like the other mountain range, but eventually you kind of spin a little bit and come to a stop. Ah! Full time on the cars. Ah! <laughs> you get delayed scream. You couldn't even scream because we were like, yeah. the air couldn't leave our mouths, and we land and we're all just going, ah! oh, no! <laughs> You look out the window. And what you see looks like this idyllic valley. I mean, well, except for the part where you drop this a Walmart into the middle of it. But Walmart's ruined everything. There's a river running and rambling up into a lush forest and further up into the mountains and up above, through your crag and through your cracked view part viewport, you see a blue near cloudless sky. And we'll see you next week. Oh. Okay. Oh okay. okay. <laughs> you played oh, it. So we're fine. Everything's fine. I don't Everything's know. Fine. Is my girlfriend alive? Yeah. <laughs> We're Unknown. Find out next Unknown. week. They haven't asked out yet. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Use your psychic powers to find out. <laughs>